Okay, chat. I think we could get started. Yeah, for some reason the overlay kind of freaked out in the beginning, but I think we're good now. So we'll start off in a grand tradition that seems to be occurring more and more frequently. And that's helping somebody with the Twitch addiction. So this particular user has been in, ooh, 4,463 channels in 24 hours. I detected watching over a thousand games at once. Let's, uh, let's help them with their Twitch addiction. Good Goodbye. I'm assuming ViewBot or whatever it is. Gone now. That's all that matters. But anyway, we're here with the early start to some PSO. I do have off this week, so I figured I'd do a little extra for the bonus stream. So why not start about four hours earlier to get more people in <clears throat> from different time zones? But if not, if people don't show up, it's fine. We have some solo quests as backup to go do at some point. Hopefully you're doing well. Doing well, excuse me, Daddy for show. Let me know what level you managed to get up to. As I think you were expressing interest in playing with the group at some point. In the meantime, let's boot up Aphinia. I did a lot of item management off stream. I kind of got tired of how my stuff was. Got to 75. Did you want some assistance, Daddy, for sure? Oh, controller. Windows updated again. What an absolute prankster. If it turns off the controller before I boot up PSO for people not aware, it just doesn't connect the controller even if I turn it on. So I've got to restart there. Oh, sadly not home. I was going to say, I would have been more than happy to do some uh, blue phone in. It's been a while since we did that. I would not have minded some, probably like three or four of those quests, just to give you a little speed boost. While still farming some interesting items. So we're gonna go ahead and boot up. I put the call out on the Discord to let people know that I'll be streaming. But we are actually super close to leveling this character to 180, so I wanna get that done first and foremost, whether I have to solo this or not. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm comfortable with the run. So let's see, 219. So if I get If I get a boss kill, I get it guaranteed. So I don't see anybody else around. I might just do the first one solo. I do have twin blaze now, although I need my red handgun if I'm gonna do it solo. Oh, I gotta put away some materials. Oh, and Parameter has appeared. Stealthily walking in. Welcome in, Parameter. See, I'm recognizing some characters. Loving your PSO streams, would love to play together sometime. Usually I'm good to play 9 p.m. Pacific time. I don't remember what the time zone difference is. I'm assuming three hours. Not something I super track. Yeah, it's three hours. Uh, midnight. I guess in theory, I might play that late today. I usually prefer to stop around the time you start. Sadly. Well, maybe at the end of the stream, if you're around, we'll get a game or two with you. A 50 hit drain disca. Interesting. Anyway, chat will probably notice something very different about my bag <laughs> when I go to touch it. A beautiful relief. Down to 157 in the share bank. I gotta put that extra Rappy Vico away. But I figured I'm not gonna hold up a stream for that. Also, I got rid of almost all my materials. What a relief. I figured out where to put them. Now I could do this. What am I doing in the grinders now? 49 mono grinders. That's not bad. I think between all of these, I can probably get an S rank to max. Or one of the S ranks, not all of them. Some of them require quite a bit. What's the soundtrack today? Asked Daddy for show. 
Well, we are listening to a Bomberman World Planet Forest SFX reprise version, Area 1. Final song on the soundtrack, sadly, though. But it seems Bomberman is a hit. It's probably the most I've been asked what soundtrack it's been <laughs> since we've done random soundtracks. Other people are like, oh, it's Olympics again. <laughs> it's, it's always the Olympics. DJ, DJ Horn. So I guess we'll get started. I don't see anybody else in the chat asking to join. So it is still technically the forecast for this character. I feel pretty confident in Parameter's carry with damage between the Cannon Rouge, the lower handgun if needed. I'm gonna let him go to the next room. I'm actually gonna kill a couple of these. A little vice action here. If we had a full party, I'd probably stay to fully clear. But I think two confused traps there is probably enough to make sure that they all die. Or at least two of them should die. Let's go assist. And the funny thing is if I take too long, I could just go back and kill the other guy to speed it up. But I do at least want to see if there's a chance for an Artista stone. So you have to thank Hell Cleave for uh, choosing Bomberman. I've listened to a few of their soundtracks before. I've played a handful of their games, but definitely not like I wouldn't consider myself. I wouldn't consider myself like a super fan. It's just kind of stuff I played while growing up. Some games I like more than others. This poor dragon. Oh, oh, I did get the glitch. GG. Get outplayed. Love to see the glitch. We can tell the glitch occurred because instead of the boss having the set 4000 HP, he's literally sitting at 700 on the next phase. Which saves a ton of time. As that guarantees the dragon is not going to lift off in the sky. There's really no downside for going for it. The worst that happens is you miss time and just don't do anything. So we might as well go for it every time. Hmm. This guy needs to go away. Sadly, we did see a red slime off stream. I was playing a little bit with uh, people in the Discord before the stream. But, uh, yeah, Lava Scanner decided not to show up. So I can confirm I saw the spl the a normal slime birth the rare slime. Reba Daddy for show says in a moment. I forget, have you mentioned odd beat or even beat a lot? What does that mean? Sure. So in the bottom right hand corner near the XP meter, there's the at 861. So what I mean by that is that there are certain weapons that care about what the timer is. So 861 would be considered even beat because you're looking at the 100 digits. So for example, if you had a uh, Heaven Punisher or Heaven Striker with the Striker unit, it would activate the Pew Pew lasers. So people are more likely in more endgame settings to go through and play episode 4 because they could Pew Pew laser through it. So we'll check the beat. Some items also check it. Uh, some of them have been updated in Infinity to not check anymore. Galatine, for example, cared what the beat timer was, but that's since been uh, reduced. Rip soundtrack. Go to Bomberman Hero now. Not to be confused with Bomberman 2. So yeah, Galatine used to care in the hundreds digits based off the time of day, how strong it is. In Affinia, they removed that, which is probably for the best because it was like pretty much impossible, I think, to use for me due to the time zone difference. It was kind of brutal. Like, it was just never going to happen. 
I think it required me to play at like 3 a.m. or something stupid. And I'm like, yeah, there's there's no way I would do that on like any day. Sorry. So anyway, that was one of the ones they just fixed it to be at max strength. So that's why it's also pretty strong, I would say, compared to other servers. Yeah, Pew Pew Laser only works at even beat. I think they had a missed opportunity to make one of the other guns uh, work on odd beat. That way you could technically have forever Pew Pew Laser. That's just me. Yeah. I feel like they should have changed an item to do that. Like, I don't know if they want to do the Mila... Whatever. The mech gun that does it. To be on odd beat. Because then it would give it a purpose. It's literally terrible. There's no point to getting that uber rare. The reason being is Vulcans have a really big delay. And they are just simply not going to outshoot pistol speed. Which is what Heaven Striker and Divine and Heaven Punisher are. Like it's, just, it's just... There's no point to using the gun currently. Other than to say, look, I have a high ATP mech gun that's probably not going to have hit unless I have, like, the most godly rolls of all time. To say it's a one in a million is sadly probably not an exaggeration, especially if you're looking for it to have decent stats. So... We're going to go with, uh, no thanks. Needless to say, it's not on one of the items I'm looking to hunt ever. Uh, I'll kill the brands, it's free. Just trying to milk that XP. Yeah. There are a lot of items that don't really make a lot of sense in PSO. Like, why why even beat? Why is there nothing that works on odd beat? Who knows? There are certain items that just completely turn off altogether, like Divine Protection, for example. It cares about beat timer, and nobody uses that item to my knowledge. In theory, it could be like a very niche high EDK with some luck bonus. Just not bad for newer players. But due to the fact that it's inconsistent, it's really hard to justify ever going for that item. Welcome, Guardian Angel. Hope you're doing well. Let us know if you wanted to play. You have definitely a lot of slots today. I'm gonna set up on this monitor. slow it down significantly. Uh, I'll just stick the charge disc here. I don't think I'll burst fast enough. So we are not afraid to help newer players. Do not worry about gear. The only thing I will say is we will not do tower unless you're geared. But otherwise we're a pretty accepting stream. We help new players all the time. Gotta hear a vault on. So grinding up the levels, what level do you get up to, Guardian Angel? I would say it's a very different experience if you're looking to do, like, self-found versus the rush. A lot of people will just spam TTF over and over until they hit level. But honestly, I think there's better ways to level, especially for cast. I'll go for this strategy. I'll cleave advise me to go to the, the other side, which does put me to the door, to be fair. I just have to get used to the angle. I think I'll go up here. I don't like staying behind here because I could fuse trap. I'm gonna get up force the now, so my cast didn't change, still 64 on cast. Okay. Sounds like you and Daddy for sure are not too too far off in levels. The wild Dango TM has appeared. Welcome Dango. Yeah, I would say you would be surprised how many things you could kill in Episode 4, honestly, especially with Confuse Trap. That's why I was half wondering if it was worth showcasing part of a 1-80. to I don't know if I would want to do a full 1-80. to Just because I feel like a lot of players are, like, really mistakenly thinking they could take, like, an average vanilla group into, like, TTF, which I just don't agree with at all. Like... The reason you do the TTF is usually because at least somebody is decently geared, and not necessarily all the players. Whereas, like, you could get some pretty stupid equipment in Episode 4 with, like, very minimal effort. Especially massive attack. So that's what my thought process was recently. Whether or not I wanted to 
showcase a very specific scenario that works for cast and forces. Oh, I recognize this song. Oh, I didn't know it was from this game. Interesting. Yeah, don't mind me, chat. Just going down to 7 HP. I did not know. Today I learned. I heard this on somebody's stream maybe a few months ago. I've not played this game. This music is very identifiable. It's not bad, like, waiting music. Well, that was a bad shot. I am not liking their pattern right now. This is really bad. Every single one of them is chasing me. Could, could you not? Thank you. <laughs> that seriously was like seven of the spinners just going towards me. When is a good when is a good level to start episode four on very hard? Uh, you could have done it honestly at level forty. The reason being is if you use confused traps, you could cheese a lot of kills. It just depends on how you do the run. Like, if you're expecting to clear a run in the beginning, I would say probably not because Dorfon's a pretty big gatekeeper. But you would be surprised how much XP you would get. So unless you're doing like literally explicitly dragon reset on TTF. You'll probably get more XP just resetting uh, Massive Attack. And also still getting items if you're looking for items and materials. I feel like showcasing that on stream briefly. Does the chat can understand how dumb it is? I'm committing with Imperimeter on that one. No dodge. <laughs> because it's 200. <laughs> yeah. It just depends on what you're lacking, right? Like. You can get some endgame items that help you, but a lot of them are just going to be ultimate locks. So unless you're trading with players, you're just going to be kind of at a rough point. So here's the deal. I will showcase that right after this run. I'm going to play by myself. I'm going to unequip my mag to simulate that I don't have levels. I don't have one. Well, the closest I really have is Hue Cast, but Hue Cast is kind of bonkers. Oh, are you really targeting me? We're doing this falls? One day I'll get the, the movement pattern down. I'm really close to figuring it out. Like, I'm only like a little bit off there. And see, that causes me to dodge grants, so I don't even need light resistance for this battle anymore. It's actually unfair. Oh, somebody tried posting a message. I'm going to assume because they've never talked in the chat, Big Franciscus, before, that they're, they might be a bot. Or at least if they are, they should probably ask for permission in general. That is not a frequent person on the stream anyway. I got excited seeing red text in the item reader, then I saw it was Durandal. That disappointment chat is <laughs> so, so strong. <laughs> Why Durandal? Why are you here? Hi. So I'm going to show you something. We're going to showcase some solo quests, I guess. There's a lot of ways you could also play for XP. Maybe maybe we'll do that briefly. Although I feel like that should be its own video. Give me let me let me hit 180 first and then we'll we'll go do that. Cuz I I'm one Literally one TTF away, and that's been my goal. But I think we could showcase a couple of easy quests. And I'm gonna do it with a cast. It's very it's very, very easy with force. It almost doesn't even matter that you don't have a mag level as long as you're playing with people. Yeah, let's get one more of these. I'll think about what to showcase. I think I'm gonna showcase massive attack. What else? Massive attack. What would be easy? <sighs> I don't remember the quest name offhand. Does Chow remember the name of the episode 4 quest where you get two AI companions? Yeah, solo, solo goes real slow though. Solo is like you are in like quarter XP lane. <clears throat> so if you're just trying to reach 80, that is the probably worst thing you could do, especially as a cast. But there are things you could do to kind of get out of there. Cass wants to hit 80 as soon as possible, then they just do whatever. They accelerate really hard off of levels. 
between the trap counts and everything else. Did you want to hop in, Dango? We're going to do one more. Then I want to showcase some silliness. Can I simulate low enough stats? I think so. If I unequip literally all my units, maybe my shield and armor. Oh, you're at work? No problem. Welcome, Dango from work. Excuse me, the Dango from work. So yeah, let's hit 180 real quick and I want to showcase something. I want to do potentially a run just to tell new players this because I think like there's a really big misconception. I think there are really great items to play in the Popper Guide. Don't get me wrong, and I recommend going back to them when you have some gear. But these are kind of things that if you're playing as self-found, it's fine. You know, you're doing the story, do your own thing. But if you just actually want to hit 80, there's something else you should be doing. Just honest opinion. Because the real goal is like, once you have a character, you just, you rush to 80. You do not bother doing the one to 80 trek anymore. You've earned a free pass to never do it again. Unless you're teaching somebody something. The wild dango at work, that's true. Oh, that's not gonna kill. I didn't weaken him up. Oh well. Drain HP as we move forward. Let's see, will I get trolled? I did not get trolled. Not up the ICTF runs to basically using charge shot vice and spread needle. He gave me a feel like a god. Oh yeah, those items make such a big difference. Like, seriously, like, the best way to get out of 80 is trade with players. Daddy Pasho can, can now testify. The damage you could do with an ultimate gun and just having, like, one heavenly arm to use it or whatever, or, like, a finished mag is, like, night and day. Your clear speed goes from, like, minutes to seconds in some instances. Yeah, spread needle opens the door for a lot of gun or a lot of other changes. Oh, I gotta heal here. I'm gonna die. Oh, nice resto. That was actually good. Yeah, spread needle enables a lot of low level runs. So even if you don't have money for charge shot, it's such a good backup. It's still knocking for a vault up though. It's kind of disgusting. And even from what was mentioned there, I don't even see Ken and Rouge mentioned, but I don't think I had spares. And you see, Cannon Rouge is very disgusting on Dragon Boss. It's not bad against Worm Boss, but it shuts down a lot of early bosses easy. Start farming. Oh, you're Cannon Rouge? Well, I mean, you can't really farm it prior to ultimate. Unless you're talking about crazy photon crystal runs, which I would not recommend in the slightest. That's one of those weapons you want you you want it to roll attribute, not just like having it is having it might not be good enough depending on the character. Like the difference between it having like 30 native or like even 20 A beast is the difference between it being usable and not usable in a boss fight. Like, that's how much percentages matter. It's such a big ATP weapon, but I think getting it all zeroed is unfortunate. There's a couple characters that can use it all zeroed, like Ramar, for example. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a lot of damage on the table you're leaving behind. Get rid of the slimes. Want to get a limiter for my force soon, says Dango. Well, Dango, if I ever receive a limiter... <laughs> Yeah, Realm Moral just probably wouldn't do enough damage until you get more levels. Because you have to think about it this way, when you start thinking about weapons with like 600 plus ATP, like even just 20% is like having 180 or 120 plus ATP. Which, as you can imagine, only getting 3 ATP a level is kind of strong.
Does higher difficulty mean a higher chance of finding hit percentage or doesn't matter? Uh, yes, technically. So there are box chances for the most part. Everything has like an area spread in the game, if you want to think of it that way. There's some areas in Very Hard that are better than Ultimate. Mostly if you think things like Tower would have things competitive with Ultimate. But from that standpoint, most people just do uh, Ultimate because of the drops while also doing box runs. Or they'll do the very specific box run of Phantasmal World 3, where you could do it in your sleep with like barely any gear, and you could be a beginner player and probably still smoke that quest. That's also a great way to get items. No room for D-Relay Shell for that, I guess. Yeah, it's... I don't have the link right here. I've referenced it, I think, in one of my guides. There is a whole thing about area area patterns, if you're curious about those. Essentially, by playing Anguish, you can bump up the pattern by a notch. So some people will do like a couple levels of Anguish on something easy to do. Yeah, there's a couple things you could do immediately. As soon as you hit level 80 and hit ultimate, if you have any kind of hell gun, it might be worth going for. The run itself is not hard if you have to ATP. You just have to know how to do it. Then there's this Restless Lion quest I keep hearing about. Oh, I'll do that on stream, Dango. We'll do that on stream. That'll be one of the things I need to touch it. Yeah, those are also fairly easy to get, believe it or not. It might... It still takes a little bit of luck, don't get me wrong, but it's not as bad as you think it would be. We'll probably get a hell, I just don't think it'll be the right version today. It's a quest I don't normally do because it's a single player quest, which is why I think people that like watch the stream to try to learn don't understand. There are a lot of things I did to get up to this point where I, I don't need to do those things anymore, but we'll, we'll immortalize in a video, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to try to teach Restless Lion. Better chance for super high hit weapon in Anguish. Uh, it all caps at some point, so eventually I think the max pattern is... I think it's 444. Offhand, chat can correct me if I'm wrong. So you could boost... You can Anguish boost something like early ultimate, so it does the best. So like you could bring Forest up to like Seabed level chest, for example, if you really wanted to. Honestly, I wish I could boost the seabed boxes a little more. But they're basically at max from what I remember. And the reason you want to do that is because seabed has the easiest runs for boxes in the game. They are brain dead easy. I'll take that damage actually, that's really good for us. Thunderstorm in Puerto Rico and might disconnect. That's unfortunate. Hopefully you will be okay. Oh, wind blaze. Thank you, Hellclee, for helping me get this. This item eluded me for so long. It's like the Gal Griffin wing. It's not like I haven't done the runs for it. My luck is just atrocious. <laughs> I honestly, if someone is really dedicated, I want somebody to go back and check how many RTs on stream I did not get a Gal Griffin wing. It is actually insane. I think it's like closer to like 120 with like rare week on and everything else too. So silly. Oh, welcome Clock Tower Joe. What am I hunting at the moment? Red Ring. Uh, with the other things, it will be uh, technically Lavas Cannon was duping slimes earlier. If I really feel like it, I could do two spread needle chances. We always kill up to Sorcerer for Psycho Wand, and a Gino 1975 for Red Sinnoh, without doing anything different in the run. I'm gonna take a safety heal here, because I'm still not used to the movement through here. Speaking of which... We could also kill these uh, Arlins, by the way. Since we're a two-man group, I'm not gonna go for it. But we, I was discussing this with the stream earlier. So if somebody were to like specifically kill these Arlins, they actually drop Disco Brave Man, which is a relevant drop. And they're pretty easy to kill. Like, I can walk away from them and they'll basically kill themselves here. In fact, they did kill one of themselves. 
So it's like, technically I'm getting Disco Brave Man chances every time I do this as well. And I could purposely do another Confuse Trap too. To get two more kills, or at least a kill. Or he'll just not stop hunting me, cool. Welcome, Murphy. Unfortunate. Oh, we're at this phase already. So I could kill these Del Ds in order to get to the spread needle, but that's fine. Uh, I don't know if that's enough health. We'll find out in a moment. Two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that's enough health. That's unlucky. Yeah, there's a lot of potential drops that could happen. They just don't. So I don't I don't bother. I don't get hung up on it. This is basically to level, and I just happen to be looking for like five items at once. It's a very convenient quest. Plus, once you get used to it, it's pretty fast. I'm gonna kill a couple of these. <laughs> don't mind me, just at 37 HP. Do 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 do. Get away from me. I'm gonna kill this one. I'm gonna end up probably on the left side here. They're kind of in an unfortunate spawn pattern. Hopefully this next one kills it. It did. This guy gets red ring and like five, six really long on drops in TTF. Yeah, unfortunately most IDs do. So it's just like, I've never really chosen sky ID because of that. Cause I'm like, I could get these crazy drops or get consistent drops and crazy drops. And that's part of the reason I just haven't touched Sky ID so far. So I guess if you truly have everything else in the game, maybe Sky ID is appealing. But for me, it's just like, you know, early on, Green ID and Viridian are just going to be far more appealing as a newer player. Like before you get your B101s, before you get Xcals. Like there are just. What are you doing? Okay. So it's just kind of like one of those things. So like, that makes sense for like a late game ID. But for me, it's like, uh, I mean, some people even will do, what is it, white ID? Into it, just because they happen to be doing some forest creatures. They could kill the early rooms if they want to. Oh yeah, that's the maximum number of shots I could have gotten out of that. From here, it's technically better to swap. I think last one, because it has such a good shot speed, and I could get the five attacks. I think it's actually optimal over Vice. Just because it actually gets like two extra attacks compared to needing to walk up and attack. Uh, targeting me again. Let's practice. How far from the edge do I have to be for this to work? Not far enough. Oh, invincibility. What a troll. I'm going to go near and parameter because I'm going to die. I died for the sin. Making me mag feed to fix synchro. What a jerk. Now perish. Reason I picked Sky was because of the wiki guide. Uh. See, that's. That's the thing. I mean, I guess it's okay, but like. It's one of those things I want players to understand when they're on the stream. Like, Sky ID gives great calibers and it gives really good big swords problem if that's your first id you have no access to good units so you have to trade your brains out in order to do well so that's why i don't think it's a good starting id oh yeah that's right hell cleave did pick up a uh, sword the other day or earlier or dango it's one of those things, like, they can at least do the Sky ID hunts, and you can do Seal JSOR hunts with them. You, I mean, you have to, but I, I don't know if I'd pick QCast for that. Just kind of one of those things. Yeah, and... Yeah, that's why I don't, like, go into, like, super details about IDs. A lot of it is very subjective, but honestly, I feel like that's why people should probably start with like green, white, or viridian. That's going to give you like 
almost everything that if you picked one of those as your starter it's really good or if you've been following with uh the mags when we talked about mags if you have a green ranger that's pretty much like the ultimate id it could do like every area every hunt gives you all the units gets heaven striker cannon rouge excal so it has like everything you need as like a basic starter kit like it's a little more geared towards ranger don't get me wrong but like if you don't have a character that can do v101 or d502 or uh heavenly battle at minimum i mean i guess you could trade that which is fine it's just gonna be like a really rough journey if that's gonna be like your only id Give a 200 mag for the Hugh cast. That's a good sign. Yeah, I do agree with Murphy. They just started adding those last year because those were not a thing in 2022. 2023, they started adding hunts these items well. And that's like, it's really great. Like hunters are really good at grinding bosses, but not necessarily all bosses. So they'll, they'll do like some TTF, for example. But again, some of that assumption is like, I'm really good at it, but I have dark flow. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it does assume you have certain items because without it, like a ranger with those with okay gear versus a hunter with okay gear, the ranger is going to smoke them <laughs> because they just have better weapon ranges and choices. Unless they truly have nothing, then you know, a hunter's better. Um, We'll take a brief break, but I hit 180. Let me go equip real quick. I'm going to showcase some quests. Ranger with 20 PDs is way greater than Hunter with 20 PDs. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Dark Flow alone is like almost a mandatory and you can't get that cheap. Let alone like the caliber and that simultaneously. Well, anyway, chat, let's have a little celebration. It's time for her to become tanky. Oh, what a what a relief of ice resist and fire resistance for TTF. I would like to take 20% less damage in that fight. I don't know about you, chat. That is a game-changing amount that I just got back. Now we can put this away. Very good shield, don't get me wrong, but not worth the hunt. Oh, this character is going to feel so good. Look at those stats. 1,000 defense before anything else. So tanky. To be honest, I might just go Ranger. I think I've talked about it before. Hugh cast is pretty good. We have to know what you're doing. Ranger can be slow, but if you're going no gear, I feel like no gear Ranger can go really far. Uh, forces do okay if you're willing to put in the grind time for mag. Honestly, with them, if you get a mag, they just kind of accelerate out of control. They're kind of a weird class. Like, if, if you're going in, like, empty, I don't enjoy them so much. Like, they can clear normal pretty fast, but I feel like they don't scale very well to, like, very hard, specifically. So just everything takes forever to kill and everything one-shots you. And they don't really have a backup option. You either do damage or die. Like, there's nothing in between. Unless you're playing multiplayer, of course, which is what they're intended for. Dev MSC Mag and Trade Shop. Uh, I don't know what you mean by trade shop. Do you mean the Discord? You can't just buy a mind bag if that's what you mean. In game. Funny, it's 20 hours of playtime in town, feeding a mag into a 200k. I mean, you're not wrong, Murphy. Like, if they get their mag, they're pretty much like, oh, like a mag and like a heavenly HP, and they're basically good. Like, no joke. Like, that's pretty much what you can get. If you get techniques on top of that, that's just overkill. Well, anyway, I guess we'll showcase some beginner stuff. So I'm going to pause the recording here and I'm going to go combine this when, when we're done with the showcase. So with more gameplay, why don't we just play a little more RT for tonight and see where we go? We do need to hopefully get Dango the Parasitic Gene Flow. Who knows? Maybe we'll get Toriel it as well. We helped uh, Dango get a caliber earlier. Off stream, and by we, I mean mostly Hellcleave. I watched. <laughs> I did it. I was there for moral support. How's that?
There we go. Or will pop it in. Troll traps being trolled off, something like that. <laughs> Hellcleave is like, this is what a caliber is. It just shows that it's like, oh, it's actually good. <laughs> Strong enough. So anyway, this character is one level from hitting max ATP and a boss from hitting max ATP, so that'll be nice. It's only two levels and red rank abused. Then I gotta play more of the Hue cast. So I would say this event was very successful in leveling my ults. This one's almost a main at this point. I do use him a lot. Selkleev is graciously coming in with uh, some debuffs. I'm a ranger, so at least I can bazooka things and speed up some of the further fights. Otherwise, it's basically, I'm surrounded by an army of hunters. Which is kind of funny, because I think I have the most HP. Oh, Rawcast, you don't make any sense. Why are rangers tanky? It should be hunters that are tanky. <laughs> I should be very squishy compared to the Hughcast, I'm just saying. Especially the Humar. Okay. So there we go, we did a whole ton of quests, so expect many, many days of uploads, so that we'll probably backlog some of our other uploads, but that's fine. I'm gonna make sure each one is given at least a day to breathe, because I'll probably take a actual vacation from this at some point. Just because from the standpoint, the way I see it, I don't know if I really want to play PSO on my birthday, which is not too far away at this point. I think I want to play games I mostly want to focus on, and those may, may or may not be stream games. We'll see. The only thing I know for real is that the chests I absolutely want to open. Get out of here, Merlin. Get charge armed. Nice. Toriel helping me combo kill. Oh, uh, no ad slots. Ooh, egg rappy. Egg rappy. Hold on. Alert. Egg Rappy. Yeah, Egg Rappy. Oh, you got murdered, Egg Rappy. Your little, your little egg face. Is it wearing like a costume? Is that what it's supposed to be? Hold on, I never actually looked at the underside of Egg Rappy. I, maybe, or it's like an unhatched one. I couldn't tell if it was just like a, a cloth over its head or if it's like actually just a giant egg face. But anyway, enjoy potentially a rare item from this. We are absolutely camping this egg rampy, rappy out. Let's go. Got the Easter egg. Not to be confused with the other things. I'll drop a trifluid. Let's see, what's in the Easter egg? Use Easter egg. I got a rabbit wand. Okay. Ta-da! So I'm gonna go to the right there to continue onwards. Oh god, I got another one, says Dango. What does that mean? Another one of what? You made a giant fan. Anyway, enjoy your joke item, Toriel. I'm going back, I'm shooting him. I want my item chances. As long as you hug the right wall, you should be safe. Yeah, there we go. New tech. Well, old tech, but it's new to me. Get rid of these guys real quick. 
So my goal is to just obliterate everything that's near me. Don't allow them to do anything. Honestly, I don't really need this many freeze traps. I should probably pop a few. I can line up these shots. Freeze traps are so good in multiplayer. I love them so much. Like, they're good in single player, but man, when you have, like, Zalor and Shifta backing them up, it's like, oh, disgusting. Goodbye, Merlin. Hello, giant fan. Rip Dango, paralyzed for life. I almost thought that was a 40 hit cross scar, and I was like, no way, that's disgusting. Don't lie to me. I'm 568 XP from leveling, that's so sad. Welcome, Chris. We did just get another egg wrappy. Hope you're doing well. It has been a marathon today. Yeah, I thought you did the egg in, in honor of that, honestly. But welcome, Chris. Glad you're doing okay. Ooh. Lots of enemies here. Just let us know if you wanted to play at some point, Chris. I know you're probably still waking up. Oh, I missed the orange one. That was my bad. Could have gotten the group paralyzed there. Gotta be a bit more careful. I'm trying to line up for the middle one here. Rip help leave. Ah, uh, mistimed. Oh well. Too late. Don't you duck my bazooka. Get out of here. As a creature this big duck. Let me shoot you. There we go. There's the teleport. I was expecting the teleport that time. Ooh, team is not nearby to punish. Team should be in the corner, especially Sunters. Come to me. This is where you can punish it. No, 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 no. Don't be in the middle. You cannot hit the worm boss easily that way. There we go. Yeah, we already destroyed the plating on this side. It's also safe against the lasers, so it's just way easier to punish. Ooh, nice level up. Max ATP, there we go. Okay, let's have the lineup Olympics. Ooh, not feeling confident, not feeling confident. Ooh, is that good enough? Maybe this is? I, I think with my angle, this is perfect. The lineup Olympics are difficult. But eventually, at some point, you, you hold forward and commit. But if you're like really angled, if you find your angle looks really weird, the only thing you could do is back way up and then the camera won't fight you. I think this might be perfect. Ooh, I'm slightly deviating, but I think this is good. Nice. I won the Olympics. <laughs> Player one advantage. Hopefully you got more rest, Chris. We'll shoot the switch behind us. We'll just blind fire into it. It's fun. See, so we're hoping for Toriel and Dango to get Parasite to Gene Flow. I guess also Hellcleave. Hellcleave needs a lot for his U-Cast army. I'm mostly fine. I'm just here to support and level. In the meantime, hopefully Chris, you're enjoying some Bomberman soundtracks. Watch this freeze trap. Love it so much. Got him. Checkmate. <laughs> Got a little more sleep. That's good. Let's 
So yeah, we need, I don't know, like five RTs and this character will hit 180. But RT is a very long quest. I don't think that'll happen tonight. But at least I could say it'll be mostly done tonight. It sounds more like what I expect a Bomberman. Yeah, exactly. 3 db DM or another DF, two extra for later. Oh no. Should be using Frozen Shooter here, I think. So we're gonna freeze him so that way Dango murders. I forgot to shoot the back of the room again. I'm so bad. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. Just that room specifically, just my brain turns off. Oh my gosh, actually, I have invincibility. I'm just so used to not getting it, chat. <laughs> I wasn't even holding forward. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way, chat. So I'm 2% of the way there on the final level, I guess. I'm gonna be careful here, because it's kind of a bad angle for me. Let me back up slightly. This should be fine. Yeah, if you got a multi-hit weapon, I'd recommend it here. Disc is really strong. If not, run away. Run away. <laughs> the, the giant grid says no. It's basically mean version of dragon. Forty hit ray gun no special. Come on, chat. That's what we call wasted opportunity. <laughs> It could have been something, chat. Oh, those are just armor boxes, whatever. Okay, now for a peaceful jaunt through the beach side for no reason. Dango finding blue barrier. Do you see what I mean? Yellow ID is just like, you know what? Just have random barriers. It really does have like a barrier in every area. It's actually kind of crazy. I'm surprised we haven't gotten it randomly on the temple boxes from uh, Worm Boss. So I guess that's a plus side, just random box rares. Which again, it's not normally something I hunt for specifically, but honestly, Yellow ID has been turning them up for some reason. Nice photon draw. You love the panic speed up music. I can hear it going, hurry up! Okay, let's get a little further up the beach, I think, so that way we can spawn these. There we go. Oh, didn't combo kill. Should have special, got greedy. Need to remember, with level 30 shift, I don't need to do that. Level 20, I do gotta actually be greedy. Also, I might whiff the kill if I don't crit. Even with the max ATP, it's not guaranteed. GG to that enemy, you're ultra dead. It's like a normal, normal special for a faster combo. If all I'm gonna do is kill a special anyway. Let's go towards the middle gradually where the Merlis will spawn. Got him. <laughs> Was that freeze trap necessary? Absolutely not. Is it funny? Absolutely yes. I mean, I got my traps reset anyway. Wow, I did so much damage, I think a heavy would have just straight up killed there. Yeah, like sometimes it does a ton of damage, but other times it kind of creeps a little low. We'll let Hellcleave do the Hellcleave check. So long, Hellcleave. Into the hidden wall he goes.
Might as well freeze these. Leave that other one tutorial, get the one behind Dango. Might as well just kill those. So, a reminder try to conserve your Photon Blast. Because if we could get it for the end, it makes the end very easy. Build the geese. Honestly, being forced to use a lot of normals here just builds so much meter for me. I kind of like that strategy. Like, I, I don't really lose time because I'm combo killing regardless. I'm just going for the guaranteed kill. Like, normal, normal, special is about the same as doing normal, normal, special, and handgun anyway. 50 spirit caliber? Really? Well. It's actually decently strong. Mahu has been found. We're gonna make a small turn to the right here, and we're just gonna shoot the Gal Griffin. Hunters basically can't really do anything unless you have Dark Flow. The boss is just too high in the air. Ranger, on the other hand, is like, yep. Let's do a casual 10% of the boss's health. So ideally here, I will not get targeted. What will probably happen is I'm going to land a couple shots and then it'll punish me. Eh, that's about right. That is really unfortunate. Ooh, I got zapped there. That was kind of a short pattern, to be honest with you. I've got a good angle for this, though. Oh, big stomp. Rip team. Yeah, I didn't really get a big opportunity to shoot it. I mean, I missed maybe one shot, but that wouldn't have been good enough to kill. Anyway, I shot the beast. Come on, give us Galatine. Skip doll. Eh. Whatever. Just armor, whatever. But no weapons of interest, sadly. Into the seabed we go. Goodbye, Dolom Darl. You're in my way. Chris, the Hugh Seal is now 180. This character is now 179. <laughs> it's almost like I should do more red ring hunts. Well, let's focus on these for now at least. So he's going to get much closer to uh, 180. Well, that was just rude. You know what? Eat this freeze trap. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jerk. Stupid Sinnohs. If I see them, I'm just gonna freeze trap them. Oops. Oh, maybe that's how you reach the other room. I've never bothered going that way before. Hmm. Oh, that thing was so done regardless. Is it gonna get freeze trapped? There's no way it was surviving hell plus Zalor. Just wanna hit the boxes. There we go, I hit the boxes. Just got Mag Blast thanks to attacking the Rico boxes. So I'm gonna make sure to hit the switch.
Bone Bone buffs. Oh, I'm just gonna freeze the Sinnoh. Over. So thank you for the bomb. Okay, so if I do this well, I'm able to do something like this. Kind of. The refreeze. Get out of here. I wasn't sure it was too charging at me, so I put one near me, and then I saw it was too far forward. I get charged somebody else, and I'm like, okay. I was gonna say, it had to be targeting one of us. It felt like it got close. Oh, I can actually- wait. Does that work? No, it doesn't work. I just saw our bullet going up there, so I was like, wait a minute. Is that actually hitting it through the wall? No. There you go, Chan. 11% of the way through 179. Getting there a little bit at a time, I suppose. I'm just gonna freeze these for chat so they could just do more damage to them. This is funny. Oh, I tried timing the third freeze. That works, I guess. I was gonna say, I don't think I need buffs at all. I'm just gonna be going to the treasure room anyway. My DPS doesn't matter. Oop. Dang, goes at 100. I'm at 100. Little brother. <laughs> Why are there voices in the soundtrack? Oh. Oh, they're doing a Sentai formation. That makes more sense. They're powering up. They're the Voltroning. I guess they're Voltroning is the proper term. Combine into a new form. Never mind. Already dead. Struck door X, oh no. I outplayed him completely. Not only did I dodge his little dive, he landed right next to my freeze trap, and I froze him anyway with frozen shooter. It was called a GG scenario. Okay. So what'll happen is, if you're pretty close to getting meter, just walk into the spikes a little bit. Alright, you got snake. Nice, nice. I'm gonna say, using twins. Nice. Big buff time. So I'm gonna equip Charge Vulcan, and this should be basically GG. I mean, I guess I could Heaven Striker once and a Charge Vulcan. I think we talked about that before. It technically works. I just don't think I could land the Heaven Striker unless I'm a human character. Not enough accuracy, but I'll try once. So we're gonna hold forward. I'll do maybe a couple pot shots into Charge Vulcan, which is two down from my menu. That's all I needed to confirm. 
I mean, I might as well try to go for free damage, and then if I feel like it's not worth it, I could just do one shot. Just just to YOLO the 10% shot or whatever. So let's see. Will will it land? It did land. I think that actually mattered. Expanding universe. That did almost 2,000 damage. Is where huh. energy unfathomable. There you go, chat. I was leaving damage on the table. To humankind special, 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 control. just believe. Might even double hit In the search into Charge Vulcan. So I get two full weapon cycles. Many That's kind of neat. Oh no, we're challenging outer space for some reason. The time is Cosmic Year 2000X. Oh no, not 2000X. That's so far in the future. The bomb research laboratory wait a little bit, wait a little bit. Punish. Has succeeded in mining bomb elements with this secret energy. I know anything but 2000X. For the peaceful utilization of this strange power, a space freighter carrying bomb elements made up of six crystals. Oh no, six whole crystals? Has departed for Planet Bomber. I forgot they called it so oh, Planet well. Bomber. It's amazing. Hence Bomberman. I see what they did there, chat. They're, th they're thinking deep on that lore. I'm sorry, the it, the what bandits? To seize the bomb elements. Chaos Emerald, something like that. And nice level up. The great battle for the bomb elements begins. Up only five minutes left of the soundtrack. Gotta get those bomb elements. Oh, die fluid! Yeah, now I can refill my TP! Gee, Chad, I wonder what soundtrack this game is for. It could be any Bomberman game. Let's hand this in. Good job, team. Oh, rip five deaths. Only S rank. So anyway, we got Rabbit Wand. Rabbit head on the tip of the cane looks very cute. People often use the cane as an accessory. <laughs> More like it gets put in my share bank, never to be seen again. My TP is low. Damn, you're right. If only I could use more of my materials. Sound Cleave is offering to let you come in, Chris to graciously bow out. Although I recommend if you do come in, bring in somebody with at least level 20 buffs. So it could be Uniworld, Ramaral, or Force. Because I know you have a few you've been dying to play. We should be fine DPS-wise, I think. Let's get another game set up. And then I have to start looking at more Bomberman soundtracks. Damn, we burned through them, chat. Like, we're in Bomberman Generation. Oh, um, excuse me, it could be any Bomberman we're on currently. Then we found that there is two Bomberman 64s, which I never knew about. I got another one. Chris is saying he'll jump in. Sure, sure. Wait, is there more than one Bomberman online? Wait, what? Where did... There's... Why is there more than one Bomberman online? How online does he need to go? The... Oh, there's also Super Bomberman online. Wait, where does that fit in? Oh, no, it's a sub-series. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to sub-series. No, no, no. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Maybe I'll do 2003 to differentiate the soundtracks? There's the 2001 one. Yeah, Ramar, Hino Roll, or Force should be fun. I want the non-Dreamcast one. Where is that at? Hmm. Don't see it offhand. Yeah, we'll need you for debuffs on some of the bosses. And then some buffs to carry us through the level. 
Then we have Net de Bomberman. Okay, I can't find the 2003 one at all, so I think we're gonna have to skip that. We played the 2001 version of it. Can't wait to get one of my forces to this point. Uh, I don't want the extended versions, though. Do they have the non-extended versions? I don't want one-hour loops. Where's the original? YouTube, please. <laughs> I, I just want to hear what the soundtrack is before we go into that. No. Chat, why are there only one-hour loops? Where's the original songs? Oh, I remember Bomberman Quest. Yeah, that was on the Game Boy Color. I think that was the first one I played. And then I played Max, and I think. this is how the bomb elements were once again scattered into the far reaches of the universe. Oh no, they got scattered, chat. Now, the deep lore. Whether this was their doing... It was their doing. Don't lie to me. no way for us to tell. Don't lie to me, narrator. There are infinite mysteries in this universe. Infinite mysteries. Will never be able to solve. Whether the power of the bomb element... We'll get started in a moment. ...was of justice or of evil is an answer that may be determined by the way we handle our own hearts and souls. Wait, no it's not. <laughs> You're so full of it, narrator. This is why stuff gets stolen in Planet Bomber. What a liar. <laughs> right, chat? Look into your heart. Is what you're bombing good or evil? Like, think about that sentence. Let it let it simmer. Tank is this here reporting for duty. Personally, bomb for good. <laughs> Something else. Bombs are inherently good, you're right. We gotta look into our soul. Not not our targets. We gotta look into our soul. Uh oh, where's Toriel? Oh, there we go. So there we go, we managed to get two of those. So we'll get buffed by Chris, and then we'll be off to killing everything. He's busy checking his soul to see if it was good or evil. We all know. Okay, I'm gonna check these boxes, because Yellow ID apparently has insane boxes for no reason. Nice fireball, appreciate that. I'll go pick up my material that just dropped. Hey, look at that event egg immediately. Chris has been looking for those. Almost thought I got another one, then I just saw what it was. And I felt sad. Okay. Box has got pop due to Gafoe, nicely done. I was gonna say, if it was another egg wrappy, could you imagine? Get rid of these. Ooh, with an egg, nice. Probably me get it for good or for evil. Oh no. <laughs> That's already memeing on the generations. <laughs> we haven't even, we even played the game on stream. It's getting memed on. Oh no. It's terrible.
four generations. I haven't even played that game. It, the, the cover art looked familiar. I've probably seen it in game stores a long time ago. But I, I own very few GameCube games, so it's very unlikely that I played it. So we'll try to keep Chris safe for the most part. It's a fairly tame run, at least, from a Force perspective. Basically, as long as you don't die, you're fine. When you write inherently silly meme, of course I'm gonna abuse it. It's certainly something. Sorry, chat. I was getting a message there. Up against the wall, ignore the targets. Should probably freeze trap this room if I can. I did end up with too many freeze traps at the end. I think the other ones are just too quick for it to matter. Rebarter already froze my target. Take these though. Guess I'll go to the far end of the room and shoot inwards. Oh, I'm also closer to the door. One last freeze trap for here. Because I don't really use it at seaside at all, so I guess I could just overcompensate by freeze trapping everything here. Take a try fluid for Chris later. Let's see, will Chris have to go to the north side or the left side? Oh, please, that's I probably played it, but down for, down for the story, mainly multiplayer. Oh, glitched, it glitched. <laughs> so, believe in the Zalora, Chris. Oh, if we get a good Zalora, this could fight, fight it in real fast. We'll see, though. Oh, no Zalora, rip. Chris will get another chance later. Let's try to prevent the orange thing from spawning. Good shot. Good timing. Now we just gotta do when the orange thing is there. Got it. Don't worry. Chris is used to me debuffing, to be fair. Unless I'm cast. Ooh. Oh, I missed the orange one by like one, one second. It wasn't a frame. It's like just slightly too early. Oh no, I need Zalor. There we go. Should be big damage. We need Toriel to come over here. Don't fight those, Toriel. Come to us and join the corner. There we go. You could ignore the pygmy rats. I mean, you could kill them if you want to, but... We gotta make sure we hit this thing when it's vulnerable. It's so very rarely targetable. Let Chris pop the boxes. Now off to the Olympics. Yeah, that's why I usually come to the corner. If you want, you could join me in the corner. Ooh, I'm not lined up properly. That's why to me it doesn't really matter, because I'm like, oh no, you knocked me down where I need to be. You got me. Ooh, I don't like my angle. That might be a little better with my angle. Ooh, you know what? Might be slightly to the left, actually. Yeah, never mind. I failed the Olympics. I'm disqualified. I think Dango might win if he doesn't adjust. Oh, Dango wins. Barely. Damn, I lost that one pretty hard. Good job, Dango. You're the new king of the lineup Olympics. I got DQ'd. I didn't even get bronze. <laughs> I, I had to readjust. Damn, team's just doing all the, the gambling gun. Here's my favorite freeze trap setup in the game. Just walking along. Having a good old job. Oh, you did adjust? Never mind. Dango's a fraud. That's all I learned. 
Yeah, okay, we'll freeze trap there. Help the team away from those. And we'll shoot that. Here it comes. Favorite freeze trap, this room. It's like the dumbest use of freeze trap, but I love it. <laughs> that way team can just wail on it. It's so unfair. It like it is like a small chance of splitting if you don't instantly kill it. But it's like now. Nah, not with the freeze trap. All hope gone. Smile. Smile gone. Hope is faded. Never to return. Yeah, I'm just straight up mailing the Del Saber. Dango proving he's the stronger slash better swordsman. Oh boy, Chad, I feel like most of my tomorrow will be uh, YouTube uploads. There are so many I have to go schedule and also label and edit descriptions. It's going to be quite a day tomorrow. Oh my god, I got invincibility again? I'm just not used to it now. It's so weird. It's a weird feeling, doing whatever I want. Well, that wasn't a good angle. Let me go more towards the side here. That's better. Oak. That's fine, we'll take that damage. Luck material. I guess I'll go maneuver towards that. <laughs> Normally I ignore the boss rare. I'll ignore the armor back there. Wait for chat a little bit. Pop the box. Tutorial a respectable 127. I'm sure Forest is basically easy mode now. Get rid of the geese. Burrow <laughs> is 89, yeah. <laughs> so long ago, exactly. So hopefully you'll end up getting the parasitic gene flow. That's the big hunt for the hunters. It's where they start to really shine, but it requires such specific items. Whereas rangers have like a nice range of items in tiers that would work for bosses. Hunter is like charge Vulcan, dark flow, nothing in between. <laughs> you just, you have one or the other, that's about it. Baby vices. You don't have like a bazooka, you don't got those other ones. Ooh, nice, another event egg for Chris. He's been dying for those. He's finally getting them. Who would have thought every single one of his event eggs was in episode 2? His favorite episode, of course. It often be heard saying, I shall bomb tower for good. <laughs> I've looked into my soul and determined so. Amplifier blue. Uh, it's disappointing. That one's like, okay, it's just, you, there's no reason to really use it over the other ones. So, better than nothing, yes. Why doesn't this character know Ryuka? I don't think you can tell a pipe in this quest, right? Yeah. Thou must finish the quest. Yeah, if you need more trifluids or something, let me know, Chris. I've been trying to pick up a couple for you. 
Yeah. Is there, there is no escape from RT. Much like the beach, it is endless. I like to think that the beach is basically purgatory for us. <laughs> Just doing these medial keys. Don't have out up. Here you go. Pick the dive fluid for later, just in case Chris is desperate. Dango always carries 10. Nice. Meanwhile, me, I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll bring them as my cast. I'm gonna further south so I can hit the one that's over here faster. Okay, I'll take the Hell Cleave route. This is for Hell Cleave. Oh, that's true. Why can I never hit this rock? I'm so sad, chat. Why? Do I just... Do I have to bazooka you open? What is going on? In, please. Episode 2, Jang Chat. <laughs> I shot the box before I opened the rock. Thanks, Episode 2. Okay, you're dead. Let's all atomize their power material. We'll get that eventually. Um, we'll let him give a little jitter here. Should have popped the freeze trap manually actually. It's just gonna do this now. Waste a lot of time. Oh well. I was defeated by Rock. That's all you need to know. Rock was better than me. I'll let team handle the beach. I'm gonna look for that power material. Oh there it is. I believe in you team, you could do it. You know what, even with, <coughs> even with all shift I was doing kind of insane damage. Oh, raw cast, you don't care about their defense. <laughs> so yeah, Chris will try to tag the flying bird with Zalur here. It's got a couple chances at it. I'd wait for it to get pretty close. I wouldn't bother trying to preempt it. So now we're gonna turn right so I could see the Gal Griffin easier. And then after that, we basically just hope we line up properly. Nice. And the Zalora landed. That's always good. I think coming over here will make me a little less targeted, but we'll see. It is guarding itself pretty well for me. Take a couple pot shots here. That's a good pot shot. That's a really good pot shot. Ooh, zap before the graphic it appeared. That's kind of unfortunate. You know. <sighs> we'll kill this eventually. There we go. Goodbye, Gal Griffin. Oh, no Galatine, sadly. Oh, Dango said, ooh, that's a good sign. Did you get a Galatine? Wait, 30 hit Galatine didn't make the prompter? Really? Congrats. Question mark? That's not even just 20 hit, that's 30, right? Wow, okay. That was a little weird to not have there. 
So I didn't see the ticker go by. <clears throat> well, you got another potentially strong vault op option. Or when you really want Satellite Lizard to die. Yeah, but even 20s normally. Like, they show up for Heaven Strikers for 20s. Weird. Oh well. The important thing is you got a nice item. I'm not sure what hit they wanted. Maybe it has to be 30 hit base? Better show them a gene flow? That's true. I mean, it's technically the same odds as Parasitic Gene Flow, as a reminder. They're both 1 in 64. So, technically, that, that was the PSG roll. Oh, we might need Megan from Chris here. Where's the lore? We'll see. Or we just... You know what? When there's enough Hunters, you can do whatever you want. That's what I really learned. Like... We, we have hell. <laughs> it's called a wall of blades. Okay, at least I'm at 100 meter. Let the team build some meter here, because I don't need any. Chris will get enough to donate. Turn that off. Block 1, MA1B, it's a Mass Attack 1B, found Razan level 30. I'm assuming they're doing Lilies, if I was reading that correctly. I don't know what else you do MA1B for, other than maybe... Is that the one with Lilies, or is that the one with Shuren? There's only two items you would hunt there in caves. It's caves, I'm gonna put it that way. Just like, wh what you would specifically do there is a big question mark. That is dedication to name yourself after the quest, though. You thought you could ambush me, but I was merely finding you with my face. Checkmate, Sinozel. I knew you fell when I couldn't move forward. Truly the ultimate detection technique. Just walk into it. Genius tier play chat. <laughs> so anyway, we'll hopefully get Chris's Skafoe here. I'm gonna wait a little bit, so I'm not too far ahead. So we're gonna go all the way to the right, and we're gonna hopefully get a nice freeze trap. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna freeze trap. There it is. I wasn't sure where it was, but uh, freeze trap failed me on that one, so we'll take that. So my team kill these, have fun. I'm going on ahead. I'm on a box run. Oh, never mind. This is first. BDD boop, indeed. Wow, I just casually walked away from Sinozoa. That was disrespectful. Where's the other one, or did it walk towards me already and I didn't notice? Oh, it's just back there still. Well. GG, it got sniped basically full screen. Said no chance. Nice. Let's say Gladius is with decent hit, but eh. Hmm. So I have eight freeze traps left. I, unless I'm using one on a Morphos here, I think I have extras. Photon drop, what? I love that we just have so much ATP, it just doesn't matter. It just... Just straight up bullying it between the red sword and everything else. We're like, uh, we're Hugh cast, Raw cast. It's like you, it, it's like they're debuffed already. It just, it's fine. I'm not gonna bother waiting for this, I'm running through it. Exactly. Two buff. 
All right, I'll put a I'll put a friendly little freeze trap out for people aiming at stuff, but I'm gonna leave. Enjoy. Oh, never mind. Dango beat me to the boxes. My role is pointless. My only role gone. GG. <laughs> oh well, I guess I might as well just kill these for more XP or eggs. On the small chance that they drop something. Nice, nice. I was gonna say, where's the remaining Zoa? Let's introduce him to a freeze trap. Got him. Alright, uh, so I still have three for the final room. Yeah. Um, uh, machines and the ruin- not ruins, the episode 4 enemies can get frozen out of sync for people. So what'll happen is that it'll get frozen for one person in a targetable state and not targetable for the other person. Why doesn't he jump me? Hello? Whatever. I mean, he- he- he went for the freeze trap. I'm like, you- you got me, I guess. You still died. You died for your sin. Of touching my beautiful life bar. So anyway, I'm good here. Oops, somebody got my blast. So as long as Chris has 30, I think we're good. Oh, double mag blast? I guess Chris took some big damage earlier. Uh, so I'm gonna do twins. So Chris can angel or whatever. Solid donation. Okay, so here's what we learned. Heaven Striker into Charge Vulcan is real. So I'm gonna walk forward. Three pew pews into Charge Vulcan means I might potentially do another 2,000 more damage than normal, which could make a difference. Let's flow week two, um, nothing. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it as the forest. You could Zalore and I guess Grants him off screen if you want. Zalore first though. Tech damage is basically irrelevant. It's like, in theory, ice. In practice, it's Grant. Did you see that, Heaven Striker? That was commitment chat. I pulled it out, I went, no. Normal special special, get out of my face. <laughs> there, there is no next turn for you. Get out of here. So anyway, so Chris will end up Zaloring him. We're gonna look for the monster to look around. He can Zalore before the monster looks around. It doesn't care about that. And then uh, it should be GG from there. So hopefully with streams delay, that should be fast enough to mention that. Big damage time. Goodbye. Yeah, see, like, in theory, at least phase two took light damage. So you might do, like, maybe 200 damage before it dies. <laughs> I mean, if you truly want to walk up like a boss, the phone world can wear a crimson coat, red saber, <laughs> equip the ATP mag and swing once, assert dominance. <laughs> like, take that. It's like I'm a real melee character now. <laughs> yeah, that I'm helping. Girl's gonna take off after this. No problem, Toriel. Hopefully you had some fun, got some levels. No worries, Toriel. We'll do at least one more. Sadly, no Parasitic Gene Flow. Got a Dimate back, though. There we go, solid run for the team. You 
yeah, sadly, when it comes to uh, force, for the most part, damage just doesn't matter in episode two. I mean, it's nice. You're gonna throw it in. But sadly, like, if you if you somehow wore a handgun and shot, it would probably do more than Grants. Which is a very sad but true statement. They uh, definitely did not want you to win as a force in episode two. It felt kind of spiteful with how high their resistances are. I mean, come on, he's got 78 is his lowest resist on like a 20,000 health boss. You're doing like 200 a grants. What an awful fight that is for forces. Like, hope you brought ATP because you're not doing anything otherwise, GG. You actually don't know Ryuker? Oof. Is it just not in your tech list? Should be when you go to customize. Rip. Hmm. Oh no, the tech support is arriving. That is that is my favorite character so far. I love that name. I saw it in the lobby before. Now now we can look for tech support. We're gonna we're gonna eye the lobby and spy Dango. We're going tech support watching. So I believe since Toriel is getting some rest, let us know, team, if you want to hop in for some runs. Whether you're in the guild or not. Does not matter. Yeah, what a... what a week. I did not think I'd be playing for this. Oh, there's tech support. There we go. The nice chill walk towards it. Yeah, we made way more progress than I would have imagined due to all the bonus streams. So hopefully everybody enjoys them. Um, I'm not sure if quite the last one yet. I might do one RT into like a couple TTFs to end it. T RT is a hard for me, hard thing for me to grind. Doing more than like three in a row, I'm like, geez, that took forever. I do like five TTFs and I'm like, eh, I could do another. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm happy this character is, you know, getting closer to leveling. So if he's within like three or four RTs, I consider that a success. Like the tech trade is done. Let's start up another one. So Chris will continue to be the force. We'll do one last RT into a couple TTFs. I think almost everybody wants a red ring. So we're trying real hard to get Dango this PSG. It's being really stubborn. I will admit, it is now gone on for more than it should have, statistically.
Mm-hmm. You gonna paint your red ring black? Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> I'm sure Hell Cleave remembers my absolute despair at the paints. Go watch me playing Christmas, chat. I lost it. It wasn't last year, it was the year before. It was so bad. <clears throat> last year was actually good to me. 2022? Terrible. <laughs> I think I... I think I got like five paints at one point. I'm like, I just want an item. Um, Chan could correct me if I'm wrong. They remove the HP TP regen when you use them. So I definitely don't feel like ever using them. I don't remember if they did any updates since then. But it's more like, instead of getting useful items, I kept getting paint over and over again at every Christmas present. It was so bad. It's like, I spent like 20... I spent like 80 coal at one point and got four paints. It was bad. <laughs> like, that is not what you want with the gift exchange. It was very, very, very unfortunate. I was like, Helkley, please, take them all. I don't want them. <laughs> They're eating inventory space in my share bank. I can only have so many blue paints. <laughs> I'm tired of the blue paints. <laughs> so we'll give Chris a little bit of time. I don't know. I guess I can look to see if they ever fixed it. So I remember they said it was a limitation when it first was released. I'm gonna do blue paint, red ring, and see if I could get it to pop up. Finia. Hmm. I don't see it mentioned anymore. Did it get fixed? I mean, that's good if it did. Bless, says Chris. He's been murdered by the lily. Unfortunately, touched my mouse, so I stopped moving briefly. I could blame me for that one. Maybe it's not a thing anymore? I know it was definitely the first year it was out. I don't see it in the wiki anymore. So it's possible they addressed that. Although, ironically enough, if you're playing cast, it's actually an upgrade to not get regen health. Because <laughs> you you just, you want to be in dark flow territory always. Yeah, I was looking for uh, confirmation. Yeah. That makes me more willing to use them, because before it was like... I had them on like my raw moral and raw moral, and I'm like, I kind of want both regens always, especially if using spirit. But there's daddy for show. We minimize. Oh, we've been playing since like technically 11 in the morning, so we've gone almost 12 hours of PSO. We've had like one big break before streaming. You have one red ring, you're not risking breaking it. Is there anything you wanted to run, daddy for show? I did want to stick around at least till 12.30 to see if you showed up at some point. That was my internal goal. Mission accomplished. Take that photo draw. So many PDs today. Yeah, I don't know many people that use it. I mean, I'm, I see people that use it, but I don't like talk to them about it. It's a more accurate statement. I'm still a few levels short of 80, if that's something we could do. Sure, yeah, we can end the stream with that. Assuming you're like 76, I think you said? It's been many hours. <laughs> My brain is a little mushy. I'm assuming you said something around that line. So yeah, we could do some of that. <laughs> the J cutter just comes out of nowhere. I saw that shuriken. The 
that piece got hit. Nice, nice. Rub against the wall real quick. Wall rubbing action. A little free strap down. GG to these enemies. Oh, Mill Lily. What? I don't even think you get anything interesting, right? Oh, hold on. I have secure feet now. Hold on, chat. It's very important we pick this up. Okay, my feet are now firmly secured. So we've actually seen an okay amount of rare enemies today. No socks attained? Oh, it's true. Yeah, we could do some blue ID. Depends on how badly you want to level what quest we end up doing. Beyond the Horizon is one of the dumbest quests of all time for XP. But if you're looking for some items as you play, which is probably things like Ignition Cloak, maybe some Photon Crystals, maybe a Jaya, then uh, Blue ID is your friend, and I'll host this Blue ID. Oh, you know what I realized, Hellcleave, after we had this conversation about Max? Oh, I think my item reader broke. That really sucks, actually. Or monster reader, I mean. I never got a phone new roll, Max Mag. I have one on my original character that I believe I leveled, because I don't remember asking anybody for it before. So she has exactly one. But, uh... My other character doesn't have it. I'm fine with either. I might just show a little bit of both. Depends on if- do you normally play with another group daddy for show? You remember that time? I have to take your word for it, I couldn't see this lord. Oh, soundtracks died too. Rip soundtrack. Well, that was too early. I deserve that. Okay, in the corner we go. Happy corner time. I, I love it just teleports upwards briefly. This boss is such nonsense. Like, there's no way this is behaving as intended. Is it, is it seriously how this boss worked in GameCube? I don't believe this. I can't even tell how healthy it is. Although, th the explosion of its face into the cutscene was amazing. That was a 10 out of 10 boss kill. The, sh the, the shredded remains of it floated into the river in front of it. That was quite something. That was my favorite kill so far of that boss. Alright, time for the lineup Olympics. Oh, come on, can we do it? Oh! Oh, I think I have perfect position. Remember, we're in VR, it's a glitch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a hard reset. Oh, you're 74. Okay, that's not too bad. See, so we'll do a couple. It's canon, it's true. And I'll be like, no, uh it's Bazooka, as so I just wield the giant cannon rouge. Rip my buffs, by the way. Oh, I think I got this dead on. Oh, damn, I'm, I'm, damn, I'm dead center, almost. Oh, so close. Like, maybe a, a third of a step too far to the right. But I, I won that. There we go. The Olympic gold medal is mine. Oh, I've been buffed. Thank you. Don't mind me. Just gonna blind fire into the wall for doing this quest too many times. There we go. Now, will I remember to shoot the back wall in the final room? Probably not. Uh, I could free strap this. On the off chance that maybe we'll get items from those. Fortunately, at least when the monster raider breaks, at least the item raider stays. Could have been much worse. But sadly, this now requires a lot of memorization that I don't enjoy. So I'm gonna have to trust that I'm close on things like the drag dragon kill, as well as uh, Olga Flow. Russia autumn season? Oh no. The autocomplete text strikes again.
You know, I was gonna assist, but I think Danko has that. I mostly just watched it get cleaved. <laughs> I'll cleave with the I think so to the have we come this way before. So we'll take a little break before we do our final TTF. Congratulations, something like that. I did forget again, by the way, chat. It's fine, though. There's something about that room. I just want to keep walking. I don't feel like turning around again. I've done it, like, I've shot it properly, like, once in eight rooms. Oh, I have invincibility. Nice. That's enough damage, it is. Back up slightly for a good shot. When you pretend like you're not gonna fall down, get out of here. Silly gold dragon. You can't trick me. Even with my monster reader broken, I knew you were already dead. Nice level up. I was paying attention. <laughs> sort of. All weapon boxes opened. I'm gonna ignore the armor boxes. So here we're gonna have to believe. This is from pure memory from earlier. That this combo will kill. And this combo will... This combo will also kill if I'm allowed to land it. We'll see though. Let's go for it here. Ooh, charge walking by itself with special can kill. Nice being at max attack power. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was a lot of damage. Make our way up the beach. Hope leaves already mostly there. Put a happy little freeze trap down for that target. Good enough. The important thing is they didn't unfreeze. Like the giant lightsaber that Chris is using. Damn, the Megan is real. I'm sorry, did I just do 1300 on a single charge Vulcan? I did almost my ATP's worth. That's something. I'll just be getting it, doesn't matter what I hold. Truth. As long as it's not a rod, I think it's probably fine. I wish they didn't make rods so much slower. I wish they were actually faster. Than, uh, like, barehanding. Could you imagine if uh, force weapons actually cared about attribute? Like they actually impacted your spells? It's like, what were you hunting today? All attributes. some that spawn down here, so I'm gonna walk further down. Oh. Not gonna lie, that would have been fun. Yeah, there's just so many ways to scale ATP. MST got shafted. It's still weird that weapon MST is capped to your stats, but weapon ATP isn't. Like, did they really think MST was gonna break if someone, like, dare add 50 MST via weapon over your cap? I don't know what the thought process was for some of those things. Oh no, rip Hellcleave. I'm coming for you, Hellcleave. Never mind, you got yourself, you're good.
Kill these. Get rid of these. Oh, off by one damage. That is a heartbreaker. That's why I was doing the normal, normal special, because it's so fast. This cost me money, though. Oops, wrong order. Yeah, I'm healthily breaking out the Gatling gun. It's had enough. I guess I should pick up the Masetta. I was using it earlier. Okay, so we'll declare this the final RT. And we're gonna have Help Daddy for show, so for people looking to help a newer player. I'm gonna do that for like an hour, maybe an hour, ten minutes. See where we get with a few runs. And then I got a hard stop since it's very late. Damn, still landed it. Take that monster reader. See, like, once you know the percentages, it's not too bad, but like, if I were swapping characters and I wasn't sure if I could land the hit, that would be the worst. Ah, uh, stop targeting me. I can barely see the boss. Actually, I'm gonna soul atomizer into Trimate here. I think I'd die if I don't do that. Seriously? I think I got a clean hit, GG. Stupid Gal Griffin. Oops. I ran the wrong way in the cutscene on that one. Yeah, probably another six, well, probably more like eight minutes. We'll have Daddy for sure. Sadly, RT's final area does take a while. Ooh, gel in 30. Uh, goodbye defense material. You've been sacrificed to the gods. Okay, so still 13 freeze traps, so I should probably spam them here. Mostly want to catch the Sinnohs if I can. It's going to be interesting, so I'm going to have to kind of blind use it like this. Yeah, there we go. It's a good use of Freeze Trap there. It's like how... How dare you make me guess your position, Sinozoa, like intended. Yes, that works. Like little marathon music as we make progress. Yeah. I don't really want to do a 24 hour stream on my uh, week off. But at some point we will take a small stream break, like I'll just be off for the week. I haven't decided when that'll be. But it won't be this week. Since I did want to dedicate it specifically for PSO for the most part. I think that was accomplished pretty well. I've been playing quite a few hours. I mean, as of right now, technically, we've been on live for... Ooh, nine hours? That's not bad. Yeah, you gotta be in the mood for the 24 hours. I'm like, ah, uh, my sleep was okay. Can't tell if it spawned. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna face check to see if it landed. Right, let's let the team handle this. Hmm. Only at 90 meters, so I'm gonna need to. Probably freeze trap into frozen shooter this. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. One, two, three, four, five, freeze trap. That work. Don't mind me chatting, just going in blind. 
So we're gonna get hustled to the next area. We're gonna do a box check. I need to get 9 meter. So I have some ways to do that. So these are gonna build at least another percentage. I'm gonna use a freeze trap and move over. Damn, that was predicted, chat. Did you like that freeze around the column? See, that was experience. He was not on that mini-map, but I'm like, nope. I knew exactly where you were. Get out of here, Senozoa. Mm -mm. Let chat kill the Rico box up there. I have no interest. I'm at 96 meter. That means I only need one real combo. Don't be within chainsaw amounts of uh, force gauge equivalency. 97's good. Got the freeze, I believe in you, chat. Oh, I barely clipped that. That was unfortunate. Thought I made it around that corner. Oh, that's one way to get mag blast. On the plus side, I'm now invincible, so I might as well just run into things. Don't mind me. I wonder, would they be worth confuse trapping? No items of interest, sadly. Now to go blindly back into battle. My favorite way to enter it. Hitting something. Nicely done, team. So I still have seven freeze traps. I should have been a bit more aggressive in temple with them, I think. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down. I say here-ish. Oh, slightly too far down. Oh well, I'll just have to murder him in retribution. I believe in the team. It's a way for everybody to show up. team is just huddling up on the chainsaw and running into it repeatedly. That's kind of the nice thing about Rawcast. You're, you're gonna you're gonna build your mag blast. So you don't need to worry too much. Nicely done. Uh oh, double donation. Hmm. Let's see if this is good enough. I mean, there is a Hugh cast, I suppose. Hugh cast does not care. I'll regen some HP. It might be relevant that I regen. Not entirely sure. But on the plus side, if I don't know where the boss is, <laughs> uh, Heaven Striker should decide that for me. So we're gonna believe that I'm hitting on these shots. One, two, three. I think both hit. Oh, uh, I think the Zalor was very late. It's unfortunate. Yeah, with the Zalor, you can hit that off screen. It the the height of Zalor is like nearly infinite. It's kind of insane. So you, there's no timing to it. You just spam Zalor, you'll get it. Where my magical power does nothing, magic is am, something like that. 
It's fine. It's all about adjusting to the run. Then after this, I'll do some... I guess I'll host this blue ID. Although, I have to see if I have my add-ups on my blue ID character or not. It's been a while since I've been playing Forest. That was dangerously close to being too early. But anyway, he's done. Block 1, Caroline has found... What did they find? Heaven Punisher. Sino Blue Heaven Punisher. That is interesting. I wonder what their run was. Like, were they intending that? Are they doing, like, White ID TTF or something and that just happened? I'm assuming Heaven Punisher, Sino Blue is white ID. But anyway, we're all posing. I like Chris's character posing. As we all just look at Chris's character. I got money. Oh well. So yeah, I'm 55% of the way to 180. We are way ahead of schedule, thanks to the bonus stream. <laughs> Going for an extra long amount of time. But not bad at all. My material, nice. And this in. I think I have one spare adept. I just don't know if my blue ID mage has it. I know I put my Gafoe merge back. That I did responsibly, along with the magical piece, in case I need it. Put away these items for now to get an idea of how far we are. How many PDs did we get up to? I'm back up to 80. So we did get a lot today. I'm up to 81 event eggs. So we almost got up to 99 during the event. It's pretty good. Plus I have however many on the first character bank that I don't remember. 68 mono grinders. Wow. So we went from like 20 to 68, so that is a big improvement. And I've used a couple in between as well. Some of my unupgraded gear. 50 hits of interest. Do a couple of these. So let's do a couple runs with Daddy for show sure, since he's been very patient. He's been looking forward to playing and leveling, potentially getting to ultimate. We are going to switch characters though, C-Bank 4. I mean, fortunately it is very hard mode episode 4, so it's like playing ultimate. <laughs> the XP is very silly. I'm gonna hope this character has one adept on them, and I'm assuming they have V801. If they do, then we're fine, I can equip my other spare adept. Otherwise I need to figure out who has them. Could be Waluigi that has them. Could be Static Thick that has my spare adepts. I do at some point need at least one adept per character, or I need to complete the Mother Garb set. So I did put Mother Garb on a couple of these characters. Sometimes in their bank. You have adepts. You have my Gafoe merge. You do not have my adepts. Who has my adept? One second. I kind of refuse to do anything other than double adept, or else I have to bring way more fluids. I'm going to assume Static Thick has it? Yeah, we're doing lower difficulty stuff. So if you want to level your force, it's fine. Or if you just want to level a lower level character, I'll do the hard carry. I just need the adepts. Otherwise, I will be forced to use the character reader. Oh, adept stacks. Is he not in my adepts either? Alright, who is my adepts? Let's find out together. They could be on... Dumpling. Welcome, Shino. Crimson has one. Azure has one. That's fine. Meryl has one. 
Waluigi. Okay, that would have been my next guess. Thank you for the run, Stango. Hopefully you get some rest. So we'll be joining Daddy for sure in a moment. I'm going to get those double add-ups out, though. What character were you going to level, Chris? Define way too low level. Are they between 20 and 40? Or are they like level 6 or something? Le level 6 is definitely too low. Oh, 40's fine. What do you mean? 40 could do very hard mode. Give me one second to get the setup going. Yeah, we need these Vieta ones. Pros and cons being in a team. Uh, pros, you get an icon to designate your part of the team. You can get extra quests, ability to shuffle cosmetics. Downside, literally none. You're supposed to be in a team. I guess if you're in a team where you're not the leader, you don't have control over your team image as another way to show off. I guess. I mean, if you don't like the team, you just leave. But basically, people would probably use it the most for the dressing room. So if you want to adjust your character height and looks after they've been created, that's the only real way to do so. So it's just kind of easy the updates it costs some money to do it but again if you want to adjust the character you're tired of the way they look but don't want to make a new character that would be your option for example did you want to be in a team daddy for show i'm gonna go ahead and host an episode four game so please feel free to join password is king difficulty will be very hard There are people that are very active, so I would say, you know, if there's somebody in the time zone, it might work a little better for you, but that's not to say we're going to reject you for being European time zone or Pacific or whatever. I think you said you were Pacific time earlier. So you're more than welcome. I'll just extend it. Do you have a mag for this character? We'll extend it in vain. Worst thing that happens... You can always join another team in the future. It's not permanent. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really, like... Glamoring for space in the team. I think for the most part, you know, people are either in teams already or... Have their own kind of things, but you're more than welcome to join ours. Did you need a mag, Chris? I have like a million in my bank. <laughs> I came ready to help new people level. Let, let it be known, chat. You see these triple striker units? They're ready. I don't know why I have a 49 dex one. Maybe Hellcleave can help me solve this mystery. What character was I giving this to? Was this supposed to be for my, uh... I feel like maybe it was my rocket seal or something. I don't know where 49 came from. 46 makes sense. Hope you help me with those. The others did not make sense to me. So we're gonna go double adept because why not? And then you already have the Gafoe merge. Hmm. Well, I will take a Rafoe merge. Oh, actually, I think that's not in the bank. I just remembered. Oh, I think I don't have a Rafoe merge. Okay, right, who has my Rafoe merge? I'm not gonna restart for that, but I want to know. Damn, it was Waluigi again. I should have checked his shield. Damn you, Waluigi. Trolling me from the other session. So we'll sword. I mean, I mostly just need Gafoe Merge. That's the most important one. Gafoe Merge helps a little bit. Depending on what run we do. But it's not like the end-all be-all. Okay. So I think we're good to go. Is there anybody else that wants to hop in for free XP? We're doing some very hard mode currently. The level requirements are, are you between 40 and 80? If you're above 80, you're still welcome to join. 
Blue ID gets things like Jaya, Ignition Cloak, Double Photon Crystal Chance. That's still very much a valid run. The sad part is, I will probably level during the event of leveling uh, Daddy for show here. So yeah, our primary equipment essentially is as follows. Ignition Cloak, V801, Double Adept, God Technique. This is as optimized as I could get for tech that I could possibly be. Let's get Foe Emerge. Now, depending on the quests, I want to use Rough Foe Emerge, but it's fine. We'll deal without it. We are indeed on episode 4. You can tell because there's like a little boy outside that wanders around. I was gonna say spoilers, I'm gonna kill nearly everything. <laughs> This character is max MST, he does not care. So we'll give Chad a moment or two if they'd like to hop in for free items, essentially. I like that my attack and defense match. <laughs> it feels good, right chat? <laughs> nice nice five five fives across the board. Okay, so let's talk about different quests. Guess we'll do this while we're here. Unfortunately, somebody wrote just as I hit the select thing, so I have to view the chat window after this. I think it did send it, though. Let's read what was sent. My inventory on this character is a mess. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. I'm going to be rapidly menuing Gafoe. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, you're trying to buff. It won't matter. I will try to shift the D-Band you to level 30, which is very strong. If you have decent equipment, you should do fine. Uh, I need you to use the console. There we go. So we're going to be doing a lot of menuing. Where's my Kofoe on this list? Oh, it's at the bottom. Look at this wall of XP. Here it comes. Disgusting. So I'm going to use a slightly less optimal Gafoe focus route, I guess. Welcome back, Nate. I don't know about that for me, but it's nice to play more games. Surprisingly, there is a power material there. Again, like, I feel like you play very hard mode. You'd be very surprised how often you get rewarded playing on lower difficulties. It feels good after being abused by ultimate. You're like, oh, this is a difficulty that actually cares about what I receive. <laughs> well, sometimes. Unless you're in like episode one, then it, you know, like one in 288,000 is just a common rare odd for no reason. Yeah, this seems fair. So it's not quite XP week, so we're not gonna product, probably not gonna have Betty for sure to get straight to 80. We can showcase another uh, quest after this, but sadly, I think Chris does not have enough HP to survive. Unless we loan him some heavenly HPs. Because uh, there is Beyond the Horizons. I figured we just kind of do one of each, to be honest. Keep it mostly fair. It's the Baka talking. Oh no. No worries, Nate. Get some healing out of the way. Nice, it's 75 already. That's a good sign. Oh, my monster reader is broken. That's right. I should probably reset after this to fix that. It will bother me, because I can't see Pazuzu, for example. Or, uh, Delrapi. Which is actually important to the run for me to see Delrapi. But anyway. I guess I'm just gonna have to believe. It's gonna be all memorization. I mean, I have done this quest a lot at least, but... Looking for the rare could be a bit unfortunate. Uh, I probably just want to eat some dye fluids. Yeah, this character is basically power incarnate. 
could not be optimized any further. I actually think in some ways Psycho 1 would slow me down in DPS. Depends on what I'm stacking. Like, look at that. Their weakness isn't even Gafoe, and they still die to it. Like, actual madness. Yeah, for the zoos, if you got a pistol, might be easier. Eventually, it would be good to learn to hit them with, uh, what's it called? A Vulcan. It's most... It's mostly easy to do that if they're die bombing you because they put themselves in range. But unfortunately, they're not going to get a big chance there. And we're going to manually do a couple of these into a Gafoe, I think. I think I just melted him through the power of Gafoe. Goodbye, Zoo. Hello, other zoo. Hello, photon drop. Hello, better drops than ultimate. <laughs> Reset 44, nice. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and menu as quickly as possible. So due to having basically frame-perfect Gafoe here, we're gonna see enemies instantly die, and that's all we wanna see. If we don't see them die, it means we're just in a bad position. We're gonna try again. These enemies are just taking so much stack to Foey. So this is normally where I would swap out to use Rip Foey here. Ziggy Stardust. Maybe. Rip Chris. Yeah, I was worried about that. His health is below 420, which I believe is the required HP to survive. So he cannot deal with Dorfond at all, unless he has a heavenly HP. Unfortunately, there's only a couple of Dorfons in this quest, so it's not the end of the world. You have indeed become roadkill. Let me reapply buffs to the team. Oh, team got a little far from me. Oh, is that Kunai? I was wondering what that was at first. I'm like, what are you throwing? I was like, oh. Kunai's fun. is coming out. Just be careful the door phone. It's already dead. Another photon drop? Seriously? Another photon drop? Seriously? <laughs> Damn, why do I even play ultimate? Honest question. Oh, Chris died. Yeah, I'm gonna have to feed him a heavenly HP or something. Because that does stop my DPS to revive him. Which is bad. Since I'm the primary DPS. It's getting people killed now. Run, Chris, run! Run away from Dorfon! There we go. That should be good. Should be on the final wave at least. Let me go pick up all these ridiculous photon drops that just dropped. Wait. Wait, what? Wasn't I see it on the Why am I not seeing it on the map? What? Oh, it's merged. Oh, that's so evil. Stacked drops. I'm like, I was looking around. I'm like, I don't even see it on the minimap. Where is it? Let's get some buffs going. We'll debuff the team, which I'm just going to have to assume is working. I 
I swear, if that was another photon drop, I was gonna lose my mind. If Delrapi is here, I'm so sorry. Okay, no Delrapi so far. Some debuffs going. Um, there's this many people attacking me, I just need to manually pass it a couple times. Before I go back to buffer. No, Chris is getting one shot. Or if he has decent equipment on. If he's not wearing proper units, that would also make sense to me. Get rid of these. Uh, can someone go down and trigger the door? Yeah, there you go. There we go. Perfect. You can run back now if you want. I'll protect you. I just don't want to lose the stack of Foley because it does so much damage. And once the lizard gets close enough, it should just die. Uh, I'm just gonna foe you. I don't feel like waiting. Yeah, we're gonna weaken these enemies pretty significantly. There we go. Chris is now 45. Eventually he'll grow into the right HP total. Or we'll loan him some heavenlies for the next run. Oh, true. I don't have a slicer on me currently. Do this to pop them. Get a couple of grants here. Debuff the boss. Change the music. I don't know why it muted there of all times. Unfortunate. So yeah, the trick with this monster, you don't really want to melee with it. If you got a slicer, it works pretty well. The enemy can be kind of annoying. Most people bring in demons for it. So eventually we'll get you a nice slicer fanatic. Yeah, this is where normally I would switch over to purely Rafoe, but I think I have to stick to this for now. So let's take care of these, debuff things fighting in the chat. Yeah, this should be way faster XP wise than other things. Technically, I think if we had another player, it might be more reasonable to TTF to some extent, but with just one force, it's very easy to do this instead. Get rid of these. Plus, boss set damage is so high that unless people are really doing heavenlies or whatever, it's going to lead to more deaths. Ouch. from the other enemies, as long as I can stun the things fighting the chat briefly. Nice, a Benek. Not bad. EB. Uh, that's fine. We don't really need it in this quest. I guess if you want to get a super buff, that's up to you. I'll donate. But not required. Get rid of 
these. Grab Chris. Yeah, we're giving him a heavenly after this. I think he's gonna burn my moon atomizers out, which is what I'm more concerned about. There we go. Do some Rafoes. Who got knocked down? That's unfortunate. Do a couple of zaps in there just to clean them up. Do regular Foey from here. This should kill. Full Razan, so that way team isn't destroyed. You can see with this Rafoe, I'm able to stunlock three of the zoos. That puts a lot of pressure off the newer players, and they can chip out the other zoos. It's kind of nice. That's not what I wanted. You can see there with like perfect tech casting, the enemy doesn't really get a chance to do anything, which is perfect. This is now level 46, nice. Let's try to rebuff him. Oops. Just went to the warp already. I did not get to reapply shift to him. There we go. So this is kind of an interesting room where if you refoe the center target, it kills everybody in the room. Although, funny enough, making the... I was gonna say, funny enough, Chris did the only thing that would get him killed in that room, which I find funny. So just so you're aware, if you throw a projectile at them, that will pull them, and that will make them dodge the Rufoe. So just be careful about that. That's unfortunate. Nice shift to D-Band, though. Rip Chris. Yeah, I'm not sure what your defense is. It seems very low. So if you're just using basic frame, then I'm like, okay, that makes sense to me. Because I feel like they do a lot of damage, but you shouldn't be getting one shot with 56. 165 is your defense. So I, I hope that's not your total defense. That is horrifically low, if that's true. I mean, just from materials alone, it should be like... I don't know, 100? Let alone levels. If you didn't use materials on them, that makes sense. 243? Yeah, that's way too low. <laughs> that would explain it. I was gonna say, I, that sounds like you didn't use mats. That makes sense to me now. That checks out. Because I'm like, there's no way. Because most people put like 40 to 60. It's fine. We'll adjust accordingly. Congrats on 76, by the way. So, two levels so far. And just one quest. This quest is pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out after this so I can fix my little reader. But I guess we can keep going. I mean, if we're within like two quests of putting him to 80, then it's not too bad. Because on average, we'll level like a quest... Or excuse me, we'll get a level and a half a quest, unless I do Beyond the Horizons, which is very dumb. The risky part is if anybody dies, the quest basically ends for them and we got to restart. Am I out of souls? Oh. Okay, backup team. Draw the imaginary line. Do not go past where I am. You can, see, you can see a little divot, kind of like in the halfway mark on the right side. As long as you're behind it, the zoos will never laser you. So I'm going to spam Gafoe. They should die eventually. Yeah, you can see they're getting interrupted, trying to die bomb. They should just perish here at this point. Which is all we're looking to do. Nice, we force the die bomb. Love to see that. 
course, another dive bomb. I love to see that. Jack can keep me protected. We should be good. We're almost done with the mission. There's just this bonus XP time for us. Is there another Goron somewhere? Oh, there it is. Oh, my mate, just killing him real quick. Nice little stun lock. A little extra XP for the team. And almost on the final wave. Look at that, chat. I leveled. I did it, chat. See, I'm power leveling with the team. I did it. Heal the team. Oh, Chris lived with 6 HP. That is progress. Power level ups. So there we go. We're gonna collect that tri-fluid, some defense material. As I said before, I probably got more in this quest than I did all- Like, I went up three photon drops, two power materials. That's better than some of the ultimate runs today. And we're not even done collecting items. So I'm gonna do a little wall check here. See if there's anything here. So if you see something light up on your item reader, check on the other sides of those walls. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna reset our game. Did you drop? Do you have no idea where it is? Oh no. I would have gone back for that for sure. Rip item reader. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quit out. I'm gonna switch to Waluigi, put my Rifoli merge away, because I actually want that. And then we'll try another quest. We'll do a little sampling of power leveling. Like the the 50 shades of power leveling. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine selling PDs for money? Can you imagine? You're like, oh, I just need to buy a couple trimates. Let me sell two PDs. That'd actually be so sad. Okay. So make sure you talk to the person that is next to the counter in the guild. Because they'll give you tickets. Tickets can be used at a shop called... To the Deepest Blue MA4 Venue or whatever. It's, it's got hyphens. It's one of the only quests with hyphens. It stands out like a sore thumb in episode two. Those tickets are very good. Potentially they can net you 200,000 Meseta just for completing it. But before we do that, I'm gonna go get my Rifo Emerge so I can feel complete and whole. And then I'm gonna quit the game and reboot. So that way I'm able to see the monster stats. I mostly just wanna see if a rare enemy is there cause I will often kill things without seeing them. And I will not know if I should be holding back on certain spells. So maybe I will make another Rifo emerge with this character so I never have to do this again. I have enough red barriers. Don't mind me, just make it a quick game. right there. Put that away for the other character to use. Okay, then we're going to you're force close it. Thank you, Baby X, for the follow. Hopefully you're doing well. So we're going to force it to close. We're going to reboot. Now when we come back, we should have our readers back up after we, uh, we're devastated by Barbara Ray. That's Barbara Ray's ultimate attack. It's <laughs> disabling the UI. So if there's anybody that wants to hop in for some fast leveling in very hard mode, let us know. Sadly, we're going to get XP almost comparable to ultimate, especially when we do this next quest. The last quest wasn't bad. It was like comparable to like a lower end ultimate quest, which is still very high. Don't get me wrong, but we could do better. We could become stronger, more unbeatable. So let's do another quest. This should be a very significant increase in experience. It does carry some risk to it, so I think it's always worth doing very late when playing with new people. 
Just because if they don't have a lot of HP, they just die, and there's not really anything you could do. So we're going to go ahead and collect some items from our bank. One is going to be the Rafoe Merge, which I will need for the last half of the quest. And then I will get a Heavenly HP for Chris, so he survives. <laughs> Take one of these. <laughs> I wish he could wear the Gracia. I know that won't be for a while. That's a lot of defense. I sadly don't have a secret gear in my share bank to sh just give to Chris to wear. No worries, Hellcleave. I fully understand. It is getting very late here. I'm using Heavenly Power times two Heavenly Battle God Power enough right now. That is a lot of power. So the way I kind of view it is that uh, I think that's fine. It's definitely better than no units at all. I would say if I were to look at your gear, I would guess if you have anything that can take advantage of special, I would eventually swap out God Power for like a Heavenly Arms, for example. Oh, I'm in Ultimate, my bad. Went out of the game real quick. If you eventually get like a God Arms or a Heavenly Arms, I would replace one of the God Powers with that. I thought I menued this. I must have missed it. There we go. Much more tame. Essentially, early on, power is probably fine, because if you can't land specials, you might as well just make your normal and heavies hit. But true endgame ultimate is like, how often can I land special or how often can I land heavies? Fortunately, Ramarl ends up with a decent amount of accuracy, so it's kind of like you're playing with an accuracy unit already. It's the best way to view it compared to other characters, and you're kind of catching up in damage. I would say it's pretty solid. Just you'll find that uh, if you don't have like a lot of luck material, you'll probably benefit more from like a heavenly ability or a god ability over a god power, potentially. It depends on how often you're missing as well. Speaking of which, we need to give Chris the uh, heavenly HP to on loan. Yeah, because 483 is enough to survive. 336 is not good enough. Chris needs to be able to survive a Dorfon. There you go, Chris. And that should put him just out of kill range of most things. I think Scape Dolls also help in the quest. I'm going to give one to Chris just in case as well. I'm assuming he has done there. Have a heavenly unluck, I don't miss at all. In very hard mode, that's good. If you already have weapons with hit, that's pretty solid. Or if you already have a max mag, that also helps. You'll feel a big, big difference when you go to do ultimate. You will be missing specials pretty often, even as like raw moral. Heavy attacks, maybe you'll do like normal heavy heavy on most enemies, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna give Chris escape though. Oh, nice max mag. That that explains. So yeah, that'll hopefully help Chris survive until he levels a little more. Then hopefully he'll be out of kill range. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm gonna pay for both of you to get into this quest. <laughs> so come near me. Enjoy the money. I think Chris can get away with a little less. We'll do this much. Okay. The way I kind of view it, we'll do something called Beyond the Horizons. I should have enough for myself. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't math wrong. So a couple hundred thousand will help with just general items. It'll just be helpful. This character builds enough money anyway. It doesn't really matter. So I'm hoping the entrance fee is 20k, if I'm not mistaken. 30,000. That's fine. As long as we complete this, this should be fine. Uh, that's why I'm saying we need to level you. You will gain a couple of levels, and I'm hoping between the heavenly HP and a couple of levels of defense, you'll survive. The escape doll is insurance, because if you have escape doll, you will not die and get booted. Uh, time to spam. Yeah. 
Yeah, team can kill the Babudas. Those things are going to be slow for me. Everything else just kind of dies. So sadly, no items will drop here, but it is just basically XP incarnate. At the end of each little mini stage, we'll get our HP, TP, and I think traps back. So I think we can afford to go pretty crazy here. I will probably still need to use some MP recovery no matter what, since I'm not going to level. But everything else should be pretty free for the team. So we're averaging about almost 60 XP a second, which is how much we were getting in Mines Episode 1 Ultimate, by the way. So we're in about Mines Ultimate level worth of XP. But, uh, spoilers, it's only getting started. The XP truly is out of control here. I'll try to heal the team if I see them get injured, because I do not want the team to die. We can avoid it. Nice level up. Again, that's just more safety for Chris's character. <laughs> both in terms of HP and defense. So we'll take both. Yeah, you'll see a lot of people using charge arm and stuff. BBX says, I had no idea this quest existed. Oh, it's fantastic. What a fantastic quest. Look at the XP. It's not good for items, so like it's not necessarily the best for like casual play. But when you're just looking to power level, mm, one of the best. So simple. You could do that. You could potentially do slightly harder quests for more XP. Like I would argue that maybe uh, sweep, sweep up opera. I never get them straight. The number three operation quest that has a lot of power gorons. So the best way I could frame it. That quest, specifically, has a ton of XP, but the problem with it is that it's very easy for people to die unless there's like two forces. So with a single force setup, I just find this quest way easier. Unless I'm soloing, then you know, whatever. But yeah, I could just spam Gafoe here and this shuts down basically everything. I use a couple dive fluids here. And this quest is... Not recommended for like the first time you play, but like we have two characters with potentially gear that we shouldn't have for the area. And honestly, I would say from the standpoint, Daddy for sure having like heavenly powers this early is pretty good. Hopefully you didn't uh, pay PDs for those though. But we'll see. There's definitely things that you could get with more uh, for your bang for your buck. We'll see though. Okay, we're gonna heal the team because they can't afford to be injured. I'm getting the stun lock. Get away from me. Team is getting injured. There we go. Oh, just from me. That's good. I just want to make sure they weren't like separate units. That's fine then. Yeah, some people will. Wait a minute. Why am I magical PC? Get out of here. I don't want a magical piece. I should actually just put that away. I actually genuinely don't want to use magical piece while I'm playing. It's so much better for me to bare hand cast. The stack damage matters a little bit, but not in very hard mode. It's more the speed. I want the speed in very hard mode. Because everything melts anyway. Chris is already 47. Got a little bit of safety. I'm going to use a couple freeze it here. I'm going to heal the team. Can't afford for them to be injured. Here we go, we're gonna go Foey again. I did it again where I magical piece. I really don't want to do that. Okay, we're gonna go do a couple of uh do a couple of heals here. Yeah, these guys need to stop attacking. There we go. Tell them to chill out. So I'm gonna do a spam heal so that way team doesn't die. There we go. Now I'm back in my flow. Yeah, so we're getting 84 XP a second, which is already comparable to early ultimate. Because we have somebody that could just spam Gafoe over and over. Like, this is something you could do while leveling. We have many power leveling videos where I literally carry people 1 to 80 with just slightly advanced gear. 
I don't need to have max MST, it's nice. It's more important I get units like B801 and going forward with it. So yeah, this is how you power level potentially some players. We'll do a couple other quests that maybe will demonstrate how to level. But I think Massive Attack B is really solid. If you got a team that has like two forces, a cast, and or some kind of ranger, I think you can mostly get through it fine. Just leveled again, nice. Safety HP, love to see it. Team's looking a little injured, I'm a little scared. Mostly scared for the Dorfons when they come, as they do 420 damage or so. Let the team do some damage there. Ooh. Ooh, that Mag Blast is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'd be very careful. Ooh. I'm gonna say, I'd be very careful about pressing it. That's how I generally play the game, if you noticed. I don't use the control panel at all. I think I've had like one accidental press of Mech Blast. They have to hit me when I'm trying to menu and something weird happens. It's the only way. Something weird happens. And again, that's more from laziness of input. Like, if I just use the quick menu, it's never going to happen accidentally. So it's just training myself to just not use control. Unless I'm in, like, really ultra boring casual play. Like, I'm leveling, I don't know, like, lame to Arjun or something. Then I don't really want a quick menu. I just want something I can mash. Ooh, I got knocked over there. That sucks. Nice level 77. I'm gonna do this for a little while to save my fingers some exhaustion. This also buffers the technique, which I'm just curious. I'm just looking to see if they get injured, mostly. Alright, so now I gotta cancel so I can heal. So yeah, team's already leveling pretty well. Oh, God. I actually got knocked over by laser, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll try to kill everything that's weak to fire. Including Dorfon. Team will take care of Vastar. So, so far, team's doing fine. It's always a little rough with just three people, but I think the XP, as I said before, is just fantastically broken. If we could somehow clear the next area without the time running out, I'll get my money back. That's the downside. If we had like one other person just spamming heal, even if it's just like a raw moral, it would be good enough. There we go. Damage most of the Dorfons. So many Dorfons. Little unfortunate. Let's switch over to Rafoe Merge for a little bit. Up the team. Yeah, the reason I want to Rafoe Merge there is it costs one less spell to kill if I do this. And it means I do just better chip damage in general. So I could kill those in three blasts, for example, instead of four. So it's kind of like a TP saver. So it's possible we'll put Danny Pichon very close. Get to experience different levels of a uh, uh, Oris character. Oh, that level up to heal. There you go. That's the true way to heal. This level, it's easy. Definitely no fear, Christmas. It's gonna get one shot by Grand Detonator crit. Definitely not. There we go. What the levels for? Advanced strats, exactly.
You can see they don't have a weakness to fire, but Rafoe just does so much damage it doesn't matter anymore. They're all weak if you believe. Wow, Chris living with like fractions of HP. That level up actually super mattered. Holy. If he was two levels less, I think he would have died there instantly. Yeah, with his low defense, Gordon Detonator crits are destructive. The only thing that would really kill the team, I think, at this point consistently will probably be Gurdabulu. I don't think there's much I could do to save them on that. We sadly don't have a Slicer Fanatic, because I think I just forgot to bring it. Yeah, I did. So that's going to go a little slow when we get there. But on the plus side, team's now 49 and 77. So probably by the time we clear this room, I imagine Daddy Fisho will be about 78. Because he was already 7 77 coming in here, and we still have more enemies to kill. Well, let us know if you have any questions, Baby X. More than welcome to hop in if you just like some leveling. We won't be on for too much longer though. We've had a long stream. We're now past the 10 hour mark. Oops. So I can use Rafoe on the bird to kill everything else in the room. Thanks Rafoe. You're so good to me. We might need to level Chris's character a little more, we'll see. Chat's making him jump. I can't hit him when he's doing that. RIP. Goodbye, Marissa's. I like that I'm hitting the Rappy from here. This seems fair. Goodbye. This is really far from me. Really far from me. I can't heal him. <laughs> He's gonna burn all of his healing. Panic heal. There we go. Let's reapply some buffs. Get rid of these. Put one Gafoe out while we're waiting. So, yeah, with only three people, it's extremely unlikely we'll hit the end. But if we get one more room, we should get our money back. That's all that really matters. We only need like a handful of kills in the next room. We still have seven minutes left. So I imagine we'll still have like five or so minutes. So again, missing a party member, we're still doing really good. Put all this ridiculous XP. So close to leveling. Sadly, the lizards do not take damage. Yep, there we go. From the front from guns. Although, that doesn't mean you can't get behind them and kill them. Goodbye, Yowie. Like all the different colors of blood covering the floor. As long as it's not yours, it's all good. Look at that Marissa just trying to hop by me. Nice, Chris at level 50. Let's see if this puts Daddy for sure there. <laughs> Chris slowly getting out of kill range of Goron Detonator. Come on, level 78. Come on. So close. Thank you, Heavenly HP. <laughs> You're making sure Chris doesn't go to heaven. <laughs> There we go. So much XP. Goodbye. I think this is the final wave. We use one, two dive fluids actually. The way does have tri fluids for the rest of the run. Fortunately, Chad has not been double hit by the Goron Detonator because that would just be GG instantly. So yeah, we're not gonna get super far in this next room, but we are getting to the next room, which is good. So this is a very Rafoe centric kind of clear. We're going to be going in circles a lot, so just get ready to move a lot. Or you can wait for them to come back to you. What are the above? <laughs> they will just keep rotating. 
it's even without XP week, you can see the chat is just constantly leveling. This quest is ridiculous for XP. So strong. So I'm not sure how much Daddy for Show needs. I'm surprised he didn't level actually. Must be very close. I mean, we cleared that entire area. Heal Daddy for Show. Done. Oh, you know what we could do for Daddy for sure. We could use a we could use the cookie. <laughs> We're gonna scale upwards in XP if you could believe it. It's like how much XP do you want? All of it. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll do one cookie quest. I think after this. It'll be funny. So if you thought the XP was broken here, just wait. We're gonna show you what true power looks like. But we're gonna gain as much XP as we can normally first. The plus side is that we're able to get drops again. Downside is there's not as many interesting ones underground. Unless we get a ton of rapies, I suppose. So yeah, we're already gonna get our money's worth back. Since we've gone on a complete circle. Then we're gonna do our best to button mash here. Because I'm not using the quick menu. There's just too many things for me to target. If I'm standing still, it's easier to quick menu, but when I'm like constantly moving, I don't want to actually input incorrectly. There we go, there's 78. Pushed it over. Use the tri-fluid there. Oh, let's, let's make sure you don't hug Gerdabulu. Put Gerdabulu in the friend zone. Get out of here, Gerdabulu. Don't you slow fireball me. That's so rude. See, so yeah, this is all just bonus XP at this point. See, so yeah, I think if I cookie quest, I'm pretty sure Daddy for sure will level. So never mind. I take that back, Daddy for sure. I think you're gonna level in the next quest. This is just bonus XP for just in case. But there's no, there. I refuse to believe we will not hit 80 after this quest, especially with this bonus XP. So part of the way through 78 into 80 should just be GG. And then you get to enjoy a cookie quest. Hopefully we see some rare rappies. The cookie quest is really good at boosting rare rate, but also people haven't seen it before. It gives insane XP bonuses. It's very strong. Some people can use it to superpower level. Other people can use it for uh, ultimate runs because it gives you the best odds. And generally those quests are also the best to run for ultimate level items. But honestly, it's sometimes it's just more useful to have an ult that can hit the area sooner during important events. So we're still going. Minute left. So we're definitely getting our points back. Not sure if we will kill enough to get a bonus yet or not. Chris is leveled again. It's what we call safety. He, I think he's out of the Goron Detonator crit range. So we're just gonna run this until the time runs out. Then it's GG. Is there anybody else that would like to join in on a cookie quest? Three people? I'd like- I prefer four, but honestly, if it just means another person hitting ultimate, don't mind burning it with just three. But it is the freest XP you will ever receive. It's probably better than ultimate. And I don't mean sometimes, I mean, no, it really is. <laughs> like, it, it will be competitive with ultimate best XP. It's gonna be very silly. Get rid of these. Oh, uh, ran out of time. Okay. Let's get our money back. Ooh, doubled our money. So we killed more than enough then. So 
So there we go, I'm back up to 87,000. So there you go. Everybody has one chance to join. I'm gonna do exactly one cookie. And I imagine this should just push Daddy for Show straight to 80. So we were getting about 80 XP a second, approximately almost 80,000 experience in that last quest. Missing a party member. But, uh, spoilers, it's not gonna matter here. You want me to pay the cookie? Uh, no, it's fine. I'll ask, uh, some cookies for later. I'm gonna do a power cookie run. Right now, it doesn't matter. So we don't need these. Oh. Imagine if I sold the cookie. I'd be so tilted. Okay. So we're gonna go straight back to Gafoe mode. Do I have enough accuracy? I do have enough accuracy. Do I have enough ATP? Maybe. I need to get more Slicer Fanatics. I gave away some, and for some of the characters, they do have them. I do have like six of them, but I need more like 11. So I need to start collecting those again, sadly. It's got the phone new mid mag for later, I guess. Hmm. We don't need any of these. So many level 29s. There's my Rebardas. I was like, there's no way I don't have Rebarda. There's no way. It's like, I'm like, I know I collect them on random characters. There's just no way. Anyway, we'll give some level 20 text to uh, Daddy for show. We will hunt him down. There we go. That'll be things to level towards in the future, although that 29 I probably want to take back. <clears throat> oh well, I got spares. Let's sort. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Raw Marls can't use it, so... Unless you're making a forest, then it's fine. And it'll be something to look forward to at higher levels. So last call for a cookie quest. It'll be nice and fast with three people. No problem, hopefully the techniques help you in the future. So I think we're good to go. So hopefully this will be it, because I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> so we'll clear this, and maybe I'll do a TTF if you hit 80? Maybe? Or I might just call it here, honestly. Do one quest, desert. So I'd like you to look, we're at a 300% XP multiplier. So we're gonna pay a seasonal thing. Need to make a mind mag so I can make a force. That's like Helcles' magic words. <laughs> to say I need Rappy Mag, and just boom, he'll appear. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy to get out of force. They struggle a little bit at some of the late game content, content, but oh boy, power leveling characters. They're like, I got this, don't even worry. Don't even think about it. So we're already getting on average 140 XP a second, 168. So we just passed TTF in terms of XP per second, very briefly. I mean, it's Dragon Resets. Dragon Resets give more, so you know, we got it a little better here. So sadly, Gurdabulu takes a while here. I need help from the chat to kill this. So this is the only thing that's gonna slow down the run. We don't have a good character for this, that's all. Everything else is just gonna be oops all Gafoe. Speaking of which, am I Gafoe bearing? Okay, good, 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 okay. Ooh, didn't die. That's the important thing. And okay, we're back on track for XP. We're doing almost double XP compared to before. How did that zoo hit me? I was gafoeing. Stop that. 
Why do you shoot lasers through that? It's upsetting. There we go. Gonna make sure we shut down the Grand Detonator. They should just die to the fireballs. Angry Fist, yeah! Get the Angry Fist. Did it roll with Machine? No, it didn't. That's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. 244 XP. We just beat TTF Dragon Resets. Officially. Not even a joke, like we just did. <laughs> Look at that XP. We're like, how much XP are you receiving today? Yes. Hmm. Ooh, almost 300 XP a second? Oh, we're going to like peak episode four optimal sweep up operation levels. Nice level up. See, that's how you deal with taking damage. Just level, it's easy. Already 69, we're barely in the quest at all. It's a good sign. Goodbye the XP per second as we fight Greater Bulu. Let me uh defense down this enemy. Hoping for a rare Rappy, but we'll see what happens. Get a stun lock going. Excellent. So we almost caught up to the previous quest's amount of XP, because that quest gave 80,000, I think. And we are still very early in. Ooh, nice paralysis. I like that. Good kunai. Very good kunai. Shut that Gertabulu down hard. <laughs> Love paralysis. Still going, Ask Murphy. Indeed we are. Final quest, though. Decide to use one cookie. He was so close. Should put him pretty much in level. As long as he doesn't die and miss XP, we should be good. Looks like I missed some power leveling. We went from massive attack B to beyond the horizons to this. It was like a, it was like a scale, <laughs> like exponential scale. It was like, okay, you know, reasonable to do. Okay, a little unreasonable to do to, oh yeah. <laughs> Just, it went, it went there real quick. Oh, where's Glitch? I can't heal you, you're out of range. Oh, never mind. You healed via the magic of levels, the favorite way to heal. So we're all, almost done with the quest. So it should put, it should put Daddy Pashur so close, it shouldn't matter. If he somehow doesn't hit it. Because I know I get more XP from me just murdering everything, but still. This XP is very broken in general. I'm gonna go in the center of the room so I can maybe hit the Rappies that spawn afterwards. Well, that's actually really annoying. Should work. I think this will work. Small adjustment. <laughs> they just actually exploded. There we go. That was perfect position. I stacked as many Gafoes as I could possibly stack there to one-shot them. Goodbye. Hopefully you're doing well, Murphy. Buffin' time. And level 80. Congratulations. Chris, meanwhile, enjoying the fruits of mid 50s Wow, that I had so much Gafoe sack. I stopped casting for almost 4 seconds, but it lingered for so long that it killed them anyway. Holy, the Gafoe stack is real. When you do the menu Gafoe, oh. You have like a million years to cast another spell and it still stacks. It's disgusting. Oh, they didn't quite explode there. I did like five casts in between to be fair, but it should basically be GG. Now the rest will just be Chris getting a little extra. Ooh, 
Oh, penultimate wave. I'm going to recommend to the chat they run out of the center of the room. I'm going to try to debuff them so chat doesn't get murdered. There we go. But it's going to be double Gerdabulu. Give the chat one more time. Debuff time. I guess I could do some stun locks. Team damage is okay as long as it's a lure. Again, I do a surprising amount of damage. Oh, I'm out of soul atomizers. That's kind of annoying. We'll buy more later. And GG. Just a couple items, you know, to potentially look through. Maybe, maybe some way to get money. Take a few of these. I definitely want moon atomizers. Oh, didn't actually use any. That's right. Never mind. Don't want them. Pick the money. Pick up the power material. Pick up the other power material. Nice. Not bad. Okay, so let's Ryuker out, I guess. How many power materials am I up to? 25, oh. I just put away 99. Jeez. Okay, material gain off the charts. Like, how many did you earn this week? Over 100. Not an exaggeration. So many power materials. I think I put it away twice, actually. Well, I put away like 30 and then I put away 99. So I think we gained over 150. Because I think on average I've been getting at least like four or five of quests, and we've been doing like literally dozens of quests. Uh-oh. The angriest of fists. I will sacrifice you to the team point gods. Rest in peace, angry fist. Sure, I'll take the heavenly HP back. I think your character can almost survive on their own. Almost. Definitely need more defense. There we go. I guess we could do one more run for Daddy for Show. We'll do a celebratory TTF. <laughs> oh, oops, oops, oops. I'm gonna talk to the guy. I almost did it again. Almost. And that'll be the final run. My defense got a big buff from new armor and shield. Nice. Okay. Uh, who do I even play into this? Uh... I'm just thinking. I mean, it's... I finally just forgot Shield Gembu. Well, if it's just the three of us... If Chris goes buff, I can just go damage. Oh, Murphy King? Oh, okay. Murphy's joining in. Never mind, Chris. You can bring in whoever you want. Damage preferred. So we'll do... Uh... Do I want to do green ID or red ID? Big guns. Uh... I'll do red ID. What could go wrong? 2, 2 a.m. red Huka seal To end the stream. Nice, nice. Representing some hunter power. 
Plus, I gotta enjoy her red ring. We haven't actually played red ring with her yet into this. Guns. Thank you, Burfee, for hopping in. So come join us, Daddy, for show. Your first ultimate TTF. <laughs> it's like, what character will Chris bring in? 2,214 HP. <laughs> Big guns. There we go. Welcome, welcome. There you go. Operation Revive Shino is needed. <laughs> it's in full effect. For team service, CRBS. There we go. Big gun time. There we go. Already appropriately lowered my HP. Uh, why don't you enjoy getting Zalord here? Ooh, is the lore confused? Is that good enough? Hope I'm almost out of HP. I hope not. Yeah, there we go. Squeeze out that extra XP. You can't rest on me. <laughs> That's a good one. A Van Egg, nice. Bonk. Oh, can somebody see my trap? Oh yeah, that's right, Chris Gun. I was like, wait a minute, I didn't hit my trap. Bonk. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can throw traps in front of Chris. That's a way I could use the freeze traps. Uh, I, I gotta do the happy dance, because I don't want to do things. I don't want to heal by accident. Okay, there we go. Happy dance acquired. So here it comes. The big bonk is coming. Get bonked. So yeah, we're gonna try to go for the damage glitch by hitting it while it rises. I'm just gonna go, nope. <laughs> so between the Zalor and everything else, this thing is gonna take heinous amounts of damage. So don't worry about, don't, make sure not to use money though on this. Maybe when it wakes up. For now, just enjoy the meter. Let's go for right here. Oh, I got it, yeah! GG, walk away, it's already dead. Controller down. You're already done. Killed. Glitched. GG. Defeated. Phase skipped. <laughs> nice. Look how fast that was. See, that that was less XP than the cookie quest. We only got 134 XP a second. <laughs> Chat, we got robbed. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> cookie quest OP. I've gotten like 220 or 200 XP a second on cookie quest. Uh, let me do one, two, three. I'm gonna do some slime duping. So just make sure to avoid the slime and then we're all good. We'll be friends, just don't go near the slime. Oh, you went near the slime. There we go. Luring it towards me also works. Did you restore your HP? I am sadly, I gotta stand still for this. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna do basically kill whatever. Just if you notice the group isn't with you, just move forward. So you get used to TTF. I don't need. Ooh, damn. I got called out apparently. So I'm gonna do a very greedy play. I'm gonna kill the middle flower so I can get access to the slimes faster. I could confuse trap for the team, I guess. Have fun hitting them. It should be distracted quite thoroughly. One, two, three. Fire trap central time. So I'm gonna be duping slimes here. There should be a lot of XP for Shino. They go from 22,000 to like 27,000. Nice level, Shino. Daddy for sure getting the power level. Even in TTF. Are there any traps ahead? Maybe. Uh, I got 10 telepipes. The team can telepipe to me. Once the other one is killed. Nice. So, Daddy for sure can follow you. I'm gonna put a telepipe right here. Nice photon drop. Love to see it. I guess I should heal for this phase. I'll regen health and wait for the team. 
The worst that happens is I have to pump a single Dimate due to health regen. There we go. Looks like team is ready. Let's see moment of truth. Oh my gosh, I got invincibility. What's happening, chat? It's hap the stars have aligned. I have no longer been abandoned by my like 120 synchro mag. We did it. Mission accomplished. Now, Dewerlay, would you politely perish? I think I just want you to explode. So we're aiming at the, the beast in the corner. We don't care about its head at all. So make sure if you're fighting the worm boss, just go in the corner. Don't hit the head and you should be good. It's good in like lower difficulty because like you'll fireball the face, for example, as like a force, but uh, we, we do so much damage to the side. It's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna troll these. Team can move on, on from these. Gonna, ooh, nice fire trap. I kind of respect that. I'm gonna kill a couple of these. The daddy for sure can get through. Kill you. All of you have perished. Wow, that was the fastest I've ever killed the guild chicks. Did team like Zalore them super hard or something? What happened? I swear, like they actually died so fast. I'm gonna kill two more while we're waiting. That's insane to me. Oh, I should have stayed there for like one more second. To get uh, two of them to die. Oh well. <laughs> Help, I don't want to die. This is the tricky part. This is where I expect to lose a couple players. We got the wall of uh, cannabins into the Sinnoh room. As a reminder, we're going to summon the red Sinnoh. We kill the red Sinnoh. We bail immediately. I'm going to take a safety die mate here so I don't die. Three strap down. Ooh, Chris shot it. Chris is trolling. I got trolled. Oh, and he put free strap down to make me walk slower. I'm getting trolled. Alright, so run for the far exit. Don't fight any of these. If you get stuck, we'll try to help you. I'll help myself. I'll be good. Maybe? Ooh, actually, I'm not good. I'm gonna tell by Bin. They got wedged in an unfortunate manner. I did refreeze them, though, in my defense. So, I did what I could. <laughs> But I, w I was hosed. So I need some. There we go. I was not getting through that at all. And that's why we bring telepipes. <laughs> when you get stuck, you're like, no, 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 no. We're not going to force it. Not worth. So I'm going to twin blaze. So just make sure. I guess if Murphy's got it, we'll give it to Murphy. I'll try to slow it down with some Twin Blaze, because it doesn't really do much. Even in Murphy's care. Nice. Oh, I needed one more swing. That's so sad. Nicely done by Murphy. Thank you, Murphy. I'm gonna do one swing into big dark flow. Don't you dare target me. Look at the damage. Get out of here, Vol Op. It's slapped by dark flow. Had enough of you. It feels good. I'm landing these hits pretty consistently. Ooh, my materials? Where are they at? One of these. One of these. Okay. Oh, Chris is in the room first. Never mind. It's all up to Chris. I'm not dealing with that. Where am I? Bonk! Bonk! <laughs> the bonk is real. Okay, I'm gonna take the safe route. I'm gonna go in the room first. I'm gonna do double freeze traps. I'm gonna one shot the Arlen. I'm gonna one shot the other Arlen. <laughs> That's what my safe strat is. Just murder everything. And Murphy's got that. I don't need to worry about that. Pop the boxes. Give interest there. So we're gonna get continue ahead. Chris is gonna kill the Arlen to the left. I'm gonna hopefully one shot this thing here. We'll see what happens. 
Okay, we can one-shot now with Red Ring. That's actually really huge. Uh, I'm gonna put down a Freeze Trap or two here. Perish. I mean, I think Red Ring fixed my damage difference. Oh, hope. <laughs> almost, uh... Almost cost me quite a bit there. That was interesting. We're gonna put down a happy little Telepipe for Murphy. And then I'm gonna Gear a Soul later. Oh, Murphy just booked it? Oh. Never mind. Murphy's committed. Alright, so my recommendation, pistol. Pistol for the spinners. Is that a monolith? Vulk. Vulcans if you have them for the close range. Otherwise, back to pistol. For the rest of the boss fight. If you got a sniper with decent damage, it might be okay. Like a charged laser. Okay, Operation Don't Get Hit Once and Die is now in effect. Oh, Lots of visual things going on. So if I get tagged at all, it's GG. Because we're playing with uh, sub 100 HP. I'm officially the squishiest party member here. Which again, I don't think is quite how they intended Ra or Hunter to be played, but that's their fault. They made it. Do that. Mostly... Just getting juked out really hard there. Wasn't sure what was happening. Need to come over more to the sides. We're like one short, I think. Maybe two. I think I saw one that was not killed earlier. It wasn't by one. It was by two. Okay. So I was roughly estimating the radar, even though I was tired, that we were off by one. Good call. Uh, I got bad news for uh, Ogaflow here. I'm in like the perfect spot. I don't know what my accuracy is on the boss, but I am hitting more often. Man, that was really fast. Daddy for sure was witnessing the power upgrade. I get to finally enjoy this character the way they were meant to be played. Is full power. There we go. Aw, oh, whiff. So sad. Time to heal. Go along the edge here and hopefully don't get double bounced. You know what? We'll take the low ice damage. That's a benefit of Red Ring. I took way less than normal. Can you stop that? Very rude. Will you stop with the spells? Stop it. It revived. Daddy for sure. Yeah, the boss decided it was no longer fun time. Stupid boss. Could you imagine, Chad, if the boss falling there did damage to us? That would be hilarious. That would be the dumbest and funniest death ever. Like, Dragon kills you if it does it. Imagine if Falls did. <laughs> like, oh, you're meleeing me? GG. Oh, I'm only 96% with less spawn. Thought it would have been higher. Huh. I thought it was 10% higher. Is it only 5% higher? Huh. That's a little disappointing, actually. I mean, it's so good. I was hoping it would just be 100%, because it was 91 before. It's only 5% more accurate, which is still better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. Rip, you know. Bye. Right, I'm out of kill range. We just have to make sure she knows alive. GG. Team's playing so cautiously. I had more HP than the boss. We're good. Like, pfft. I'm like, I don't even need it. Yeah, it didn't kill you. Yeah, I died made it up to 1300. I was fine. How cool. That was a fast run, chat. I think you could all be happy with how that run went. Love how we're like Team Red almost. Murphy's like, yeah, I don't even look at Dark Falls anymore. That was a fast run. I was happy with that. Yeah, unfortunately, now come the boss. Boss trolling items. Sadly, nothing of interest, but hey, lots of XP. We got Daddy for sure up to 82. He did his first ultimate TTF with us. Did a cookie quest, did some power leveling in episode 4. You'd say you ran the gambit today. So we'll put away some items. So, sadly, not as much accuracy as I was thinking, but... 
it's still good enough that the consistency is there. It, I am noticing last one is missing a lot less, which is good. So I went from 9% of the time missing to 4%, which is much better. And obviously a little bit of extra ATP from Red Ring actually seems to be enough to get through and one-shot Dark Ringer now. So that ATP from Red Ring did make a difference. And more importantly, my defense is phenomenally high now between Blackhound Crace and Red Ring. So eventually I'll switch over to 13, but it is funny having almost 1500 defense thanks to the combination of the two. So GG. That was a fast and clean run. We love to see it. So anyway, let's chat. How do we feel the runs went? Well, RTs, TTF, power leveling, cookie quest. Had everything that I think represents the Easter event. We even saw Egg Rappy earlier. So that's always exciting. Not the Easter Rappy. I thought almost it was like I almost thought it was like a like a kid in the ghost costume. I thought that's what was happening with the Rappy, but it didn't quite look like that. It looks more like an unhatched egg. Exclamation mark egg, yeah, something like that. So yeah, uh, we had a super super late night session, rounding almost ten and a half hours into the stream, but I think it was worth it. Hopefully, people enjoy the content later. But oh boy, that's going to be a lot of uploads for me to work on tomorrow. So wish me luck on that chat. We have like 14 or 15 videos. I got to categorize, schedule, detail, etc. And a lot of them are PSO related. So hopefully the content is enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll talk about Friday, I guess, briefly. It's not going to be at the normal time. I have Friday evening plans. So I think... We can maybe do one send off on Saturday morning for PSO if the event is still active since it ends on the 27th. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go back to Wild Arms too, I think, after that. I need some time to set up Wild Arms, and I think tomorrow slash today will be mostly video editing. So just be aware of that. So there's still more content to come for PSO. But anyway, those are additional conversations for. Twitch audience versus YouTube. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.